Andy, I, I was listening oh, in the Billy. audience. Billy, Billy, hey, what's going uh, on? You, I, I, did I misunderstand, or were you getting shit because you didn't do a thumbnail properly? Yeah, it took me 12 hours. I'm sorry, Billy. I'll, 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 I'll delete Wait, my I mean, who, who fucking cares? It's a thumbnail. Here's the Jeff thing. Holiday cares, Billy. Here's the but thing, I mean, Billy. why? What, what does it matter? It's a fucking thumbnail. But Billy, think... he cared so much that fucking six days later when the, the thumbnail was already updated, he was still fucking passing around. Well, look, look, he, he didn't... Why, why are thumbnail. people creating timetables for fucking thumbnail development? <laughs> what what, what is going seen, on? Have you, have you seen their channel? Do you, have you seen their channels, Billy? No, no, I, I, I don't know. I just, I, I've been seeing a lot of pushback against the blood sports thing. That, that's partially why I wanted to come on and talk. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. A, a lot of pushback. People saying, oh, it's drama. Uh, but I mean, here's the thing: all this shit people engage in on social media. But you know how many fucking Twitter fights you see between people, or Facebook fights, or fucking just any kind of platform you can imagine. The only yeah. difference is you're putting it in video format and giving the audience a chance to interact. Hmm. You, it, it's fucking Jerry Springer. It's Richard Bay on the internet. People love that shit. Yeah, last I, night, I, I've uh, said that's this so repeatedly. Great, right? The uh, last night, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, last night. And look, I don't even tell Tonka. I don't tell you to watch any of my streams. I don't care. But last night, watch that. I you would enjoy it. It's like it's the best stream we've had in a long time. It's not a yeah. Thing. No, I, I I watched the shit out of it. Thank you, by the way, for asking Lauren that question. I just wanted to know if she wanted to go on a, a walk through the wheat fields with the doctor. <laughs> wheat. I also yeah. like that she was the only fucking one in that entire call that got that. Yeah, she completely yeah. picked up on what that was, and nobody else had any clue as to what oh, the fuck that was about. I, 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 say, I say fuck right? Andy. I say fuck Andy. Just watch uh, Cronus's clips of uh, the best. No, of no, the whole stream show. yesterday was literally <laughs> a, a man and two women tr trying to murder each other. It was fantastic. Mm. But uh, yeah, I, I, again, I, I don't get this. Um, People just don't like it because it's a new thing that's starting to kind of take hold and people enjoy it and everybody's set in the way of their content creation and they don't want to shift uh, production to something new. And it's really what it comes down to or they're not capable of doing well, it. Well, here's the thing, uh, Jim, is is that they... Uh, they cause I remember hearing this yesterday on, on Kumite after I had left when I was in the car, but but they, like were, uh, a failure in Tonka, were talking about how people want to keep it the way it was meaning like the response videos or this or that but the it thing was is easier that way for them but but here's the thing tonka and failure they could still do that it's not like my streams are preventing anyone from making whatever they want right why can't it like both of it exist on the same you know platform youtube that has billions of fucking videos uploaded a day like, like, it's not like me. There, there's nothing prohibiting you from doing it. Like, it, it's just, again, it, it's people that don't want to fucking adjust or they're pissed off that it's doing well because they didn't think it was going to do well. And it, it's sour grapes, man. They watch their they watch their numbers go down and your numbers go up. Yeah, yeah I mean, look at your, your last month, uh, Andy. You had fucking crazy metrics. I mean, you had a lot of subs, a lot of views. You made, I, I'm going to assume, I don't really fucking tell your super chats. I don't have an hour to listen to you read or to uh, listen to you read <laughs> yeah, through uh, them. Yeah. But I'm going to assume you make a good amount of money doing it. I mean, I know Tonk, mm -hmm. is, it looks like he makes a good amount of money doing it too. Um, yeah, and and yeah. so it's, it's something people are fucking interested in. And, you know, I, I've noticed that Kraut and other people are bitching saying that uh, this is going to make Google remove super chat. <laughs> fucking Streamlabs exists, so who cares? Yeah. Okay, Super Chat's gone. Okay, big deal. Fucking Streamlabs is there if you still want to get fucking donations from chat. Also, let me show you something here. here I'm going to do a quick uh, a screen share here. Nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, may you uh, point out any of the videos that I've done in the past week or two weeks that have, are demonetized? Yeah, I'm not seeing any. I, I yeah. see the little yeah. green symbol. I th that means it's monetized, yeah? Yeah, so so Jared Heaven Taylor. Forbid conversations happen. Well, well, look with Jared Taylor, you would assume okay, that's de being demonetized immediately. I I hit the you know review button, and within I'd say half an hour, monetized. And YouTube knows what I'm doing; like they know who I am. Well, yeah, and... because the difference is you're hosting a. It's like a fucking daily talk show kind of shit. Again, it really is like the '90s fucking talk shows or morning zoo shit. You're not coming out with a political ideology. It's not, you know, Adam Raisborski wants you to become a neo-Nazi. 
it's I'm having a fucking conversation and we get to listen to people yell at each other and that's fucking entertaining and I don't think YouTube really gives a shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if there was, for example, when you listen to something like the Daily Showa with uh, you know Mike Enoch, his 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 thing is they're giving their ideology and they're very intense and YouTube wouldn't allow that on their platform. Uh, I mean, but they might, but they they wouldn't. It would be age restricted, probably immediately. It'd be age restricted or demonetized because they've talked about like Holocaust denial and all this crazy shit, right? Uh, which I don't agree with, but they could talk about whatever they want, in my opinion. However, um, on my show, for example, we try and avoid certain topics that I know is illegal in Canada or something like that. But yeah, I don't. I don't think. I think YouTube. We try to avoid things that are legal. Aren't you the dude that prank called the fucking SPLC? <laughs> I didn't prank call them. I was asking them a question. I, am I am I banned from Israel? I'm just that, really oh, right? oh, yeah, the motherland. <laughs> you, you convinced us. Did you not hear the first hour of Kumite? Where that Tonko's was fun as fuck. Me? That was the best episode. I, how was that was not? To... How was that not completely obvious to you that I was fucking? Why would you be banned from Israel? SPLC is not even Israeli. See, now you're killing kayfabe from great radio, Jim. Hang on. Just, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna fucking murder it dead. You're <laughs> call you're... me Jim Cornette. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna hit you with a racket. <laughs> God damn. It. Andy, do you think that uh, a lot of these people are just pissed off because you just aren't yelling at the alt right all the time like they want you to? Uh, I don't. Honestly, man, the amount of theories that you can, I think it's like, a, like, a, like variables. There's a lot of, a, a lot of reasons. Uh, I think one of the main ones may be jealousy. Um, but again, well, if, if you, Andy, if you, if you really want to light a fire under their ass, did you see the new feature uh, that YouTube instituted with live streams? No, it's that. You and uh, now I've told you guys. I, I think if you had like three or four shows together, you could like create a thing where people could tune in for one after the other after the other. Mm -hmm. uh, YouTube now has a thing where you can run a channel and have multiple live streams going simultaneously on the same channel, and hit a button now that will let you switch cameras between each of those streams. Huh? So you could have you could have uh, Andy Worski, Tonka Suff, Failure, and others all streaming at the same fucking time on the same fucking channel. And all somebody has to do is just hit one button and they can switch between each stream. So if you set up like a designated block of time, so like, you know, seven to nine is Tonka and then, or seven to nine is failure. And then, you know, uh, uh, 10 to two is uh, Tonka. And then you got somebody else and then uh, Worski in the evenings. You could literally create your own user created uh, no YouTube worries. version of fucking radio on oh, one wait, channel on. and have all the money come into, you know, and, and split it. Well, that's insane. I mean, the, uh, the only hard thing is is who's making what and how would you you split would it? Well, I, I think it divides it up, but I think you each get your own unique stream key, so it's not like you'd be jumping on each other's uh, streams. Oh, okay, so you're doing it from your own channel, technically, but it's almost like you're creating a hub for all the cha channels to be connected. Yeah, it's a one-channel host all of the content. So uh, you know like how uh, to get into a Google Hangout, I need the stream link to get into it? Yeah. And, and, you know, Tonka, like, when you start one up, or Andy, when you start one up, you get mm -hmm. the key that lets you specifically stream to that. So it would be one channel where you'd get unique keys for each of the streams, and you give out one to each individual. So they, they'd only be able to interact with their particular stream. They wouldn't be able to take yours over. That's you know what I, I'm wild. seeing? And, and I'm sure you're noticing this, too. I'm sure everyone's noticing this. Uh, and I noticed it like when I started these streams and me being monetized and then my subs going back to the positive and, you know, all this shit happening. I feel as if YouTube is is legitimately pushing live streams as the main content because their entire thing is they want people to stay on the website for as long as possible. I don't think that was the plan. No, I, I don't think that was the plan, but they're just like, holy shit. And think about it. They're making, what, 30% off Super Chats. Therefore, they don't need ad, uh, have to waste advertising dollars on our shows, and yet we're still making them more money than shows that have the same amount. Yes, yeah, I, I don't do the Super Chat thing. So what is what is the cut that YouTube takes they off get of that? They 30%. 30. A little bit oh, more. So, than 30. Oh, so they're, making, bit they're more. making some good money then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and and also like like let's say somebody's controversial right won't matter because it's the people that fund it so it's not like oh the advertisers are going to pull out if you pull out that means you're not doing super chats that's well, how you're hurting the people well, think about like this um for example 
okay by last show what yesterday's at at that 36 real time 40,000 views right the 40,000 views it's still monetized so i get that chunk of money whatever that is that low amount whatever the cpm is but the amount in super chats that i have is the equivalent of that video having about 500,000 to 750,000 views so youtube is like holy fuck and he t- doesn't even even have to hit half a million views but he's making us that same they don't ad- have to do shit money. they don't have to steer oh. advertisers there they don't have to do a fucking thing and they are still making bank off of what you do mhm which is you know and here's the thing at first i was like you know the people are like open up stream labs and stuff and i i do have stream labs and we'll implement it soon i don't mind youtube making a little chunk of money they host everything for free they make my life so fucking easy they uh monetize everything they're putting me on on recommended feeds it's almost like all right youtube take your little like and i'm living very well you know i'm not like you know money deprived so um and i think everyone wins you know so do you do the sponsor button yet andy no because you need gaming youtube gaming for that right I don't know. Yeah, yeah you do. You have to have a gaming channel. Yeah. How did I get it? I, is you it because started I game up in something? the gaming category. I, I, when you create the channel, they ask you to put yourself in a category, and I'm guessing you probably just. I've always been in Yeah, all right. Maybe you got switched over. I'm not sure. I used to play games on here a lot. Yeah, that's why it says people. "Watch on YouTube Gaming" right above the chat. Yeah, I don't. And have right that. next to the sponsor button. That's fucking weird. I'll take it. Well, though. you you got sponsors. Yeah, there you go. I'll take it. But no, uh, Blood Sports is entertaining. I like my Springer. Fuck these people that don't like it. They can go make serious, uh, fucking deep intellectual, uh, deep thinking shit. Well, on I did their own. see crowds <laughs> coming. I did see crowds coming on it where oh, it was no, like it's the new too. cringe or something, and it's like you, you're the nipple clamp guy, right? No, see, I, you know, I've noticed this this tactic before. Do you remember when uh, people started using the term snowflake? And uh, saying shit like that, how it took you know the left or people that the comment was being used against maybe four or five months to start using it. Mm-hmm. Like it was really weird watching some blue-haired Tumblr feminist try to tell somebody else they were a snowflake. Like, you're the real snowflake. That kind of shit. Yeah, that's that. That's what's going on with this. Mm-hmm. Uh, because they've been called mm-hmm. cringy and gay, they're trying to yeah. use that same terminology and flip it back like they can use that insult and it works for them. It doesn't. It's, it was a there was a Jeff Holiday troll yesterday that uh, posted on a piece of artwork that our our artist did. He does like little comic strips for us, but it's like really well done art. And he he commented on on that with a tweet that tagged uh, Jeff and a bunch of other people. Look, look at how cringy this is, and. Oh. It wasn't. It, it it had no references to Jeff or anything. It was a little inside joke about Jeff. Just showed so, up and said how jealous he yeah. was that it never happened Wait, for on him. Twitter. Sorry, on Twitter or yeah, he said it publicly. Yeah, it I felt bad for Jeff. So bad I retweeted it. Yeah, he he, he <sighs> said I'm jealous. I wish somebody would have made a comic book of me. <laughs> like uh, Billy, we we're, we're getting a comic book made of the Kumite. Are oh, you gonna? There, there you go. Are you gonna sue anybody if? Billy or Medicar happens to appear in it doing anything. I don't give a shit. I I let people fucking re-upload my videos. They're they're like a thousand mirrors and people monetize them. I've never given a shit. All right, you or, heard or, that or, optic decay. Uh, no, you can ask Corp song. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, that's so fucking. By the way, wow. this is how good of a guys we are. Uh, the the comic book artist would let him keep all the fucking profits. We just want to see that comic book be made. Well, obviously, I I don't care. You can keep all of it. It's his work, right? We're just yeah. characters. We're characters in this uh, in this YouTube platform. By, by, by the way, by the way, if if Blood Sports gets banned, we're, we're gonna just rename this the Ch- Bad Chip Impersonation Hour. Yeah. Oh, we'll call it uh, not Blood Sports. <laughs> like that one, Billy. You know. You know. Can I ask you a question though? It, it is something that's bothered me for a while mm-hmm. uh, that I've seen you three engage in, and it's something I wanted to ask you for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, why don't you white niggers respect me? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I deserve some fucking respect And I don't know if I want to talk to you white niggers If you're not going to respect me I'm just, I'm going to put that out there I, I honestly, you know when uh, people in my chat I was streaming when you tweeted that out I I was like, oh, fucking Jim A medicer fucking, you know Took something out of context You know the way you always edit me out of context To be funny 
and then I like I listened to it while I'm on the show. I just muted everyone and like like I listened to it and I was like, what the fuck is this? Why is she calling everyone a bunch of niggers? Well, what what say you about all that shit, uh, Jim? What, what what do you think about Sargon's? Quote, uh, I don't care that he down. said nigger or faggot. I mean, fuck! I wish more people did. I miss the old language of the internet when people would just say shit whenever they fucking felt like it. But no, I mean, just him losing uh, his shit on the chat, kind of the way. The, the thing that the thing that caught my attention was the I'm a human being, I'm a person, and mm -hmm. you need to respect me. And um, that's the chat's my thing. Being me, it, it it came off like, dude, you sound you sound like the people you used to make fun of. You sound like fucking Anita. They unpersoned him. <sighs> I don't, but but here's the thing is yeah you know you can you say the Anita thing and that makes full sense because I remember talking to him at VidCon he was like why aren't SJWs debating us and then they're like your fans keep attacking us that was their excuse is because our our fans or viewers or whatever keep going after them with foul language. And now it's become, he's now the one, like, I don't want to debate them anymore because they're being mean to me. I'm like, wait, yeah, you guys are becoming the new SJWs. Well, Andy, I mean, I heard you say earlier that you think the debate with uh, him and Spencer is off, yeah. I guess. But yeah. uh, isn't he supposed to be debating Anglin on Baked Alaska's channel on the 10th? Is that is that canceled too? Because that'll give you a better indicator of if that shit's not going to go through or not. Um, I don't know. I, I'll text Baked. I'll ask him. I'll see if that, if that's still happening. I I don't know. I I feel like last night he just had sort of like a mental breakdown. I want to like I'm I'm gonna Skype him and be like, Yo, dude, you have to just chill. Like half the fucking the audience fucking um on my channel hates me. You know. Like you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna have people in chat talk shit. I I don't understand how you don't know that. It's that's been that way since fucking chat's been around. It is yeah, the and way it's, it again, is. it's not all the alt right. Like he goes, oh, it's only the alt right. No, there's probably some people who don't. I, like, no, that's the thing too. That. Like him and V, I think both are missing out on the fact that there there are a lot of groups out there that are laughing at some of this shit that are that are not they're apolitical. There's no politics behind it. Mm -hmm. Like you can't tell me the cowboard on H Chan or Kiwi Farms or ED or any of that shit is laughing at them for a political reason. They're they're laughing because there's some goofy shit going on and they think it's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because here's the thing is like, obviously people in in this chat and my chat that are, are trying to rally rile me up, and I do get riled up pretty easily easily. And people find it funny when I start to freak on the chat because, like, that's just who I am. But I don't ever go like I am done with this. I need respect. I don't care if people respect me. Honestly, I know I know I'm a goofball. You know what I mean. Oh, no, that's it's just such a weird thing for Sargon to do, knowing his stance on most things. But maybe it's that he's he's insulated himself so much. You know, going to Gab, he's not on Twitter anymore, so he doesn't deal with people there. Uh, I, I don't know, guys. Cancerous Bush is being pretty mean to me in the chat, and uh, you know, I think maybe you guys are supporting this white nigger, uh, and I. Need some <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me go on a ten-minute diatribe about how upset I am. Yeah. Uh, the the. Uh... The funny thing is, and I was thinking about this, was isn't he supposed to be like the leader of the liberalists or whatever it's called? Like, well, yeah, but why would you have a leader who's not going to debate people and get up? I mean, listen, if, if you want to be honest about it, it's obvious he's bothered by it. There's there's no denying that. I mean, he put a fucking video up where some guy made a comment on one of his videos or some shit uh, saying, I don't even know what he fucking said. But Sargon was like uh, the guy said I was a, a sub of yours, and uh, you know I, I'm not, I you know I have doubts about what you're doing or some shit like that. He used to make and Sargon made a response video you. where he went through the guy's subscriptions and he's like, "This guy isn't a sub of mine. He's just another lying alt writer." Until other people went to his channel and clicked the subscription tab, which shows you more than just the first four. And sure enough, there was the thinkery and Sargon of Akkad and all this other shit. So I mean, like. He's. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Maybe it's just that it's not coming from Tumblr or SJWs, and he doesn't know how to respond to it. But it feels yeah, well, like he lost his ability to banter. I don't. I don't know. Well, I'm. I'm sub to to everyone, like from SJWs to the alt right, just to see what everyone's saying and keep my, you know, my finger on the pulse of of what's happening. I think I it's mean, just it, because it's easier to be like, uh, it's not real criticism. It's all coming from the alt right. Uh, that was the thing that I saw from, um, I want to say, pretty much everybody in Kilroy when the Kilroy thing started falling apart. It was all the alt-right coming after them. 
and then Andy opened his fucking mouth, <laughs> and then talk, it was. Talk, Andy, I'm sorry. Was there's, the, the, there's another white nigger in your chat. King Carl's talking mean about me. I don't know if I can oh, handle this. Oh, oh King Carl. God. There are just too many of them. There's that's two people now. I think this is a oh. plot by the Blood Sports Arena uh, to yeah. come after me. So I'm gonna have to say we're all terrible people. <laughs> yeah, yeah Andy, you, we're all terrible. Did you see that? Uh... <laughs> Did you hear the rumor is that uh, Base Mama owes three hundred thousand on on Kill Roy now? No way. How no. do you do that? Wait, wait, wait. how is this a rumor? It, God, I saw the leaked. Um, I saw she was in debt twenty five thousand. How do you fuck up 22? a convention worse than Dashcon was fucked up without the doors even opening? Do you think she's sweating? Yes. <laughs> Oh, and now I'm getting death threats. Somebody said they're going to lynch me. My oh. life is in danger. <laughs> <laughs> My life is in danger. I'm just an innocent race mixer. And this now is... these blood sports cabal, the blood sports cabal, good choice. Uh, they're coming to get me. I don't uh, know what to do. A lot of people say that it is a very dangerous chat, perhaps the most dangerous chat in all of YouTube. I don't know if I want to get lynched. That sounds like it'd be something uncomfortable. It's, it's a dangerous time over here. By the way, how are you, how are you feeling, Billy? You still got a little cough. Yeah, fuck. I mean, I, I put up a... So I, I'm i not dying of cancer AIDS, which apparently is what cancer people AIDS. think I've got some magical case, case of. I was, I was concerned. I, no, I, it, was like, it was like a long message. It was like... like it was, it was two paragraphs that I wrote to Patreons at a Patreon-only post because I figured they should know. But yeah, no, I'm just... I, I'm sick. I'm seeing a doctor later this week to get some more uh, elaborate tests, in-depth tests. I don't know how you want to put it. Which would give me a better idea of where I'm sitting. So, I mean... If I if I'm sicker than I imagine I am, or if it's worse than I think it is, then yeah, I'm probably gonna stop doing videos and just the the fucking Patreon. Sick. To what it. do we mean by sick? Do you like like disease? Well, it's it's not cancer AIDS if that's what you're. Oh, okay, fucking okay, okay. I'm not I'm not gonna drop dead in the gutter, but uh, yeah, it's just I set up the Patreon where the deal was. Yeah, I'll make videos, and if you like those videos, feel free you know feel free to financially support it. So, you know, if I'm getting to the point where I can't really make the videos in a timely manner, like weekly, Do you know then I'm that? probably going to take the Patreon down because there's no point in having it up. I mean, there are people trying to be nice and they're like, oh, no, keep it up. Keep it up if you don't do videos. But that's not what the fucking point of it was. So if I stop doing the videos, yeah, I'm just going to pull it down. I'll leave the channel up so people can watch videos that are already up there and shit. But And you'll still be way. around, like, to say what's up in, in chats and stuff, right? Oh, Andy's got an emotional connection. Do you I have do. an emotional connection to me, Andy? I, I do. I want to blow Billy. <laughs> oh, get you. you want to watch somebody else blow Billy? Not you, Medicare. Billy. No. Oh. Well, the this avatar. is Billy. Dipshit. This is what awesome. You the You're fucking confused now, aren't you? <laughs> You're a schizo now. I'm sick. <laughs> I'm sick. Oh, God. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not dying. Jesus Christ. You, you, I can't, you can't I, say I, anything I, on the internet, Jim. You I was trying it. to be responsible. I was like, oh, you know, I'll put this up. There, it's been a little while. It's been like a week and a half since I put a video up. The patrons probably should no, be but, informed. But so when I, you I say it, it no, when, no, when you say it in a way where I'm going to get the results in next week, I might not be able to well, make yeah, because, videos. Uh, listen, <laughs> I, I always find it gay when people talk about like their personal life to, uh, you know, their personal life on the internet just seems stupid to me. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't talk about myself that much. I don't talk about uh, really anything personal aside from shit that'll play into a joke or be a part of a topic. It, it just always struck me as dumb. So I, I don't go into a great deal of detail. I, I put up the minimal amount of detail to explain the situation, which I guess gave people the idea that I am a fucking at death's door. with like That's a, what a, it sounds like. like. It did, People man. were saying like, "Oh, it's, it's Crohn's disease or irritable bowel syndrome," and he's got cancer and AIDS and yeah, prostate cancer. Is that it? Yeah, just all sorts of fucking crazy shit. But uh, no, no, uh, I sickle cell I, anemia, I, anemia. I won't lie, I sat around thinking you were fucked. <laughs> I thought, I thought you were. Thinking it was, I, I thought yeah, you I, were I dying. Guess when you put the middle, uh, I guess when you put the minimal amount of information up, people assume the worst. I don't, I don't know. That's how the internet yeah. works, man. You're like, well, but you're like. I'm 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 sick and might not be able to make videos. I'll let you know by the end of the week. You're like, oh, it's, he's waiting. Well, for yeah, because the videos are like uh, they've always been more of like a side thing to me. So I mean, like if I, if I get sick to the point where it's just not something I want to do, I'm just not going to do it. So I, mm. it's important to me, at least, to inform the people that are paying money to see videos. Hey, this might be ending. Can I ask you something? Do you, Do you yeah. have any side projects that nobody knows about? 
Well, how what would, all right, now you can't ask what, me what, what do you mean by side pro? Do you mean in my own life, or are you talking on the internet? He wants you to fucking do an head. Andy Worski secret thing. <laughs> Dude, do you I won't tell anyone. Oh, yeah. you're gonna keep the secret? Well, I mean, it's if you pinky swear on a fucking live stream with people yeah. watching, I'm sure that never will get out. No, no, don't worry. No, no, no. Everyone here is chill. No one's really revealed my secrets before. It's good. No, you know, I, I'm a real simple guy. You know, I make videos on the internet. Uh, George Soros pays me to destroy the white race. Just real simple shit. <laughs> nice. George has always been a great guy. So, really, those no, checks come in regularly. No ASMR slime channels. Oh, fucking Christ. Have you heard my mic quality? Could you imagine me trying to do <laughs> ASMR with a fucking mechanical <laughs> buzzing in the background? People would go insane. Uh, did, did you enjoy a Mr. Epsion's ASMR channel? Is no, you know, <laughs> what, why am I gonna why am I gonna watch Mr. Repsion? Uh, you know, I don't need dirty underwear or socks, so there's really no reason for me to swing by his fucking channel. I'm not into little kids. Oh bro, so, like oh, the bro, sexual bro. thing's not there. Bro, you did you didn't see his tendies review? Oh, no, I didn't see his oh, tendies. <laughs> he reviewed those Wendy's tendies, man. It was the Failure. real deal. It was like 12 minutes long. He, 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 yes, he watching Mr. Repsion eating fucking Wendy's tendies for 12 minutes. This yeah, is what yeah. Failure does. I'm going to screen share this real quick. Look look at the top row of, of his videos. This guy has half a million subscribers. I get yeah, I mean, he, he went over the, the peak. I mean, that that's common with people that build up a big sub base and then years go on and then the viewership starts to decline. I mean, that's really common. Like yeah, but he has a, like a normal job and stuff. He's not like a YouTuber anymore, I don't think. Yeah, so he probably doesn't care. But yeah, I, exactly. I, I don't think he's ever going to see like a resurrection of his numbers. I mean, I've seen that with hundreds and thousands of channels. I think he was forced to get a job because he saw the way that things were going. But I, the, I, no, the, see, but the, the thing is, you the rule you book to YouTube, YouTube uh, the uh, uh, the uh, the YouTube rule book, or like how you play this to make it work, changes within every you know four or five months. So people who don't evolve to the new algorithm or how things are are running or the new rules, did did to get left behind in the dirt. So if you he he did he didn't want to evolve or didn't know how to, so he panicked and got his his job. Right, that's how I think. That's what I think happened. <laughs> well, I can think of, yeah, I, uh, quite literally hundreds of fucking channels that were big, even four or five years ago, where they're they're getting view counts that are in the you know thousands if they're lucky. It just it it happens to every channel uh, eventually. It's it's rare that it's the one will stick around long enough to keep an audience retained. You have to keep evolving. You have to keep switching. Like I've changed my uh, genre or type of videos, whatever you want to say, probably about seven times. Well, you have to evolve years. and stay loyal at you the same time. You, you know have to keep the sad. people and gain new ones. Mm -hmm. You know it's going to be sad when when one day we're going to be here in Medicare say, oh, you got to got to check out this uh, new stream. Is is the is the new Kumite. That that old Kumite is it's no longer good. This one you actually <laughs> see people stabbing each other. So I, I am a very selfish individual. Like I like blood sports because it entertains me. Like that's <laughs> that's the fucking appeal of it to me. It's not like I think it's some great art form. It is it's just I want to be I, I want to oh, be no, fucking it, entertained. Oh, yesterday, for example, it, I, I'm not saying it was high intellectual fucking rigor there, but. Everyone DM'd me directly after the show and said, yo, I had a lot of fun. Even people who were getting their ass whipped were like, that was fucking fun. Please invite me back. People enjoyed the just uh, fucking, yo, fucking around yelling at each other. It was great. And Roosh V was just, he doesn't give a fuck, eh? Why would I listen to you? You're a woman. Why would your opinion matter? I'm like, whoa, Jesus. Yeah, I enjoyed that back and forth <laughs> between uh, him, Venti, and uh, is it N uh, Nika? Is that her name? Anika, yeah, Anika. Yeah. And 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 here's the thing is is like you said before, this is, was like what 2 months ago you were talking about this. YouTube ain't the halls of debate. This isn't like university fucking Harvard in like oh, we're going to have a professional debate. No, pe people want to have the debate slash no, for real. Around. How many how many times can you listen to some motherfucker who is barely out of college try to tell you the secrets of the world? <laughs> Because I have Google over. Yeah. Right, that's always fun, isn't it? Uh, it's it's so fucking tired. <laughs> just stop it. 
for fuck's sake, stop. So, uh, a- any updates? Because I've been a little out of the loop. Uh, Andy, are you ever going to have your your second match with, was it Unknown Archivist? Who was it that you were fucking arguing with and then it got oh, cut short? Unknown Archive. Archive, there we go. Nah, I still don't he... know what the score is there. He's, uh, I, I upset him when I called him a bitch on Kumite. He's like, I'm not going to give you attention. In fact, I was on... A str- I can't remember whose stream it was a few days ago. Fuck. There was some guy's stream I jumped on for a second. Uh, whatever. There was some beef with, with me, and I went on, and we, we hashed it out. Anyway, while I'm on this stream, I can't remember who it was. Someone in the chat, if you've seen me on that stream, please let me know. Unknown Archive g- g- like comes in, right? In t- like Probably not knowing that I was there. And then he's like, I'm like, I was about to say something. And then he just left. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, he, I must have scared him. He probably didn't know I was in there. And then he saw me and he's like, oh, shit. Cunt stream. That's it. Remember, we were uh, oh, uh, playing uh, Friday the, th- the 13th. And Tonka's chat went over and said that we were talking shit. So I went over there to calm his nerves because he was almost crying about it. And then UA jumps in, that, okay. and then he like fucking like like books it when he sees me. I'm like, yeah, fuck the kind of stream. Now, is there is there going to be a rematch anytime soon between uh, Coach Red Pill and V? I hope so, but Coach Red Pill doesn't want to do it. Well, I, I saw Coach in the uh, coach chat earlier, in, and I'm sure I'm v, sure V will pop up. Well, not V has uh, he has left Coach alone. It seems. Coach really jumping on V V says nay. Uh, one interesting thing you may see, you, you may have been out of the loop, but Ranting Monkey was up Andy's ass yesterday, and Andy has called him out to have a chit-chat with him. I think that one would be interesting. Was well, that look, the one about the thumbnails? No, well, no, look. So I I kept Sofane and, and Jeff Holiday alone for a month as they continuously every few days bitch about me, right? I was trying to ignore it, and then finally I was like, you know what, whatever, and then I read the, out those tweets, and I just – Tweeted out just making fun of of Jeff, saying that uh, you know he's in the second a, a second stage of grief because his channel's dying, and he's in the uh, the anger phase. And then I I, I bashed Sulfane by saying I'm going to continuously take shots at Andy because I haven't done anything interesting in months. And then ranting monkey just starts taking shots at me, saying why why are you responding? Why do you care? When did you become so thin skinned? I'm like, dude, it's been a month they as- they- of them assaulting me. And then I fucking make a little joke and now I'm thin-skinned. Ranting has been up my ass. Ed Indro, you know Ed, Ed Indro? Oh, uh, no, the, uh, he has a dog avatar. Like the I, I don't really keep track of Twitter people, so I don't know. If I I every, I, all I these random Ed animal Ed avatars, how do you not keep up with them, Billy? Come yeah. on. Well, well, him, he's, he was taking swings at me every day. So then I'm like, okay, you know what? Like, I gave him, like, I've, I've, I, I keep asking him, like, privately, like, dude, like, do you have a problem? Do you want to come on my show? And Andrew's like, no, no, I'm just joking around every day. Okay, I, I, I don't mean assaulting. Sorry, I meant insulting. My bad, guys. <laughs> I've been insulting. Uh, anyway, and Andrew is going over and over and over. So finally, I just like, I just unfollow him. I'm like, okay, like, everything he says is just constantly taking shots at me. And then he's just like, Hey man, is there a good time you uh, you're able to stream on the weekend? I'm like, you can't insult me for a, a month and a half constantly, and me just go fine. I I tried my best. Well, who was that guy that uh, bitched at you that you never had anybody from the left on, and then you invited him on, and he's like, I can't do it for another month. Everyone. Oh, no, do you remember that? Do you remember that guy? Uh, yeah, M- M- Michael Rollins was it? Yeah, Michael Rollins. Right? Isn't that a singer? Are you? No, no, no. Michael Rollins is actually a YouTuber. I know it sounds like a singer, but he's, he's an actual YouTuber who's an SJW as well. He's like, why isn't Andy inviting me on? And then we're like, oh, invite him on. He's like, I could do it in February. Oh, it is February. He must be available. I, I guess so. But um, ah. well, th- th- those sound like fighting words, Andy. So are you getting uh, is ranting monkey online right now? You got to pull him in? Well, well, no, look, I don't hate ranting monkey. I'm just like. Like, like, I'm like thin skinned. They've been bashing me for a fucking insulting, not assaulting, insulting. Sounds me like for... he's calling you a bitch, Andy. You gonna take that? I think we should bring him in here. Yeah, you know what? Might have to go by. 
and make myself a coffee. Do, do you want to do the invite uh, oh. failure? You may make a call mm -hmm. to him. I think a, a little peer pressure from Billy Noble. Oh, Henry Rollins. That's who I was thinking. Henry okay. Rollins. I'm fucking Henry retarded. Rollins All right. Yeah, Henry Rollins is a singer. I would uh, crack the fuck up if Henry Rollins showed up <laughs> to go against <laughs> Jay. Oh, <shit. laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to just uh, make myself a coffee. I'll be back in uh, five. All right, guys. Go, go get fucking hopped up on ice cream sandwiches. There, there goes Andy, running away from a challenge again. Shameful. I'm still here. Shameful, Shameful running away to make coffee. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I see what we're doing here. Oh, my guys. Saying, Billy, I don't know. Have you, uh, have you been able to uh, see uh, some of the things that have gone on on Twitter? Like, when, when is your cutoff date for when you saw things on Twitter, Billy? I, I don't know. I think like the fucking second or the third or wherever the fuck it was. Uh, fuck I'd have to go take a look. Uh, it, it's, it's been a good couple of days then. Been a good couple of days. Uh, have you seen that Christy Winters challenged Baring to a Kumite? Yeah, February 2nd would have been uh, my cutoff date. So I missed uh, like a week. Okay. Uh, Christy Winters, I, I don't really know who the fuck that is. Who is Christy Winters? I, failure would know this a bit better than me. I'm not super familiar with it, but... Uh, Baron and her have had a history, and uh, she she's in the group of uh, the SJWs on YouTube that barely get any views, but are the most relevant SJWs. So what's the uh, what's the beef between them? She docks to she, yeah a bit ago. Oh, I, I suppose that would make Baron a bit upset. I could, I guess that's understandable. Did he, did he want to challenge her? Did she want to challenge him? She is challenging him. Oh, she made Dude, a really? tweet that he shouldn't be on the Kumite. Yeah, she said he he should not be allowed on the Kumite. Why? I don't know. I don't know, Jim. It's so weird. I didn't think she would watch it. Doesn't seem like her cup of tea. Well, is, would Bering be up for it? I, God, I wonder if you could set those two up. That would be a fucking fun thing to watch. I'm sure no. he would. I'm sure he would. Uh, he has a nickname for her. Oh, what's uh, the nickname? Like oh, it's a little a little character he created called the Fisty Splinters. Fisty Splinters, okay. Mm. And uh, it's caused great. Yeah. There, there's lots of problems between these two, but yeah, it's today's the 10K special, so if she if those two would like to jump in, they they're both more than welcome. Ranting should jump in against uh, Andy. That's more than welcome. Uh, Billy's back from the Baron. dead from his cancer AIDS he never had. So I mean, I'm from sure Billy would like to see something. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah I'd love to watch I'm, people yell at each other. I was I was knitting you into AIDS black and everything. Were you really? Warm <laughs> in those cold last months of my life. Well, that was sweet of you. I was thinking about uh, hanging my YouTube championship belt on your grave. <laughs> oh, is that what you gonna do? <laughs> that's right. where that's where it was gonna go. Just hanging on oh, Billy's grave. Thank you. It's nice to be remembered with a championship <laughs> belt. Then people that come by are going to be like, was he a wrestler? Fuck, I didn't know that. <laughs> he was everything. He was a little black boy and undoomed in a baseball cap. <laughs> he specifically wanted that belt there. It was one thing he loved the most. Was... Nobody knew it, but apparently it's true. How terrible of an idea do you think that is? To give me a, a championship belt when I die? No, to turn the uh, 100K plaque into a championship belt. How much does that make you want to just turn this show off right now that I'm going to do that? Why not? I, you know, if you're going to do something fun with it. I uh, I know they give it. They give you a plaque, what, at 100K and then a million and then 10 million? Is that the breakdown now on YouTube? God damn, I didn't know they would give you another 10 million, but yeah. Yeah, I think that's like the... Yeah, the it's silver, glass. gold, and platinum. It's yeah, silver, yeah. gold, platinum, but it's all plastic and fucking... Foil. I don't think we'll ever go to fucking gold, but I want to get that silver before uh, a certain few other people get silver. Just yeah, I said if I ever got a, uh, a silver play button, I was going to send it to uh, just some random homeless shelter. <laughs> uh, Billy, <laughs> they get in the mail and they're like, what the fuck is this? Billy, did you disapprove of us uh, making fun of the mundane Matt unboxing of his play button? I don't give a shit. I make fun of whatever you like. Well, why don't you I, send I, your I, play I, button to mundane Matt so we can get another one of those videos? <laughs> It, oh, I, I don't think Billy saw that video. No, I, I saw the Monday Matt crying video. That that got spread around a bit. Quite a bit. That thing that now has more views remember. than his actual views on, on the video. 
Oh yeah. I, at I first, I does. thought he was just joking around, but then he seemed to really get choked up, like maybe three fourths of the way through it. Uh, like it was, it was a real reaction to getting that play button. Some real emotion behind that. I don't know why. It's a shitty plaque from an internet video site, but okay. No, it, it, it matters. It matters. He really loves me. <laughs> That's what imagine, it came off like. Could you imagine if Twitter did that? Like, if you hit 100,000 followers, they'd send you, like, a fucking silver tweet button? A little How dumb silver that bird. A, a Facebook a like, a thumbs up when you hit 100,000 followers on uh, Facebook. Almost people do that with the blue check mark. When they get the blue check mark, they bake themselves a cake and, and fucking. Blow themselves. Really? And, yeah. You better be lying. People celebrate that blue check mark, man. Billy, that what is, uh, because I'm not going to. Don't you have to, like, fucking give them your name and your address and your phone number and all this other shit and bank account and social security number to get the fucking check mark? You're asking the wrong guy. Failure is, it, Billy, is that the case? Uh, you gotta ask Ian about that. He has a blue check mark. All, all I know is it gives you a little bit more power. Like nobody can just like it gives you a little more power. I, I know all these. It, it's the carrot and the stick shit. Oh, you don't want us to shadow ban you? Well, why don't you tell us where you live, champ? And then we'll let <laughs> yeah. you post a little more. No, 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 no. It does. It does give you a little bit more power. People can't instantly like mass flag you, and uh, when you flag somebody, it has a little bit more weight because you're you're you know. But now they know who you are and where you're at and what you do. Yeah, so when you call them all a bunch of white niggers, they know who's <laughs> doing it down. But yeah. by the way, by the way, that blue check mark getting taken away from fucking Destiny showed you like, okay, you really fucked up if they took took your account away. If you, if you have I, I thought he, wait, I thought he was banned. They just took his check mark away. Is he back on Twitter? No, no, no. The, no the he was a blue check mark him. account though. Yeah, the the oh. fact that they sus they don't suspend blue check marks that easy. Well, you yeah, it's the lot. punishment thing. Like, oh, we took your blue check mark away. Now you need to be nicer, or else, kind of no, bullshit. They, they suspended him totally. Whatever happened with that? That yeah, that's another feud. Is that is that died out now? What's uh? I didn't Andy put a challenge up for a one v one in League of Legends. Did he ever respond? I don't know if he did, right. but I know that uh, I know that he said that he's done with this side of the internet. I think he finally tapped out, Jim. He's gonna he's gonna stick uh, with Twitch, is he? I think that I think that's what he that's what he's saying. I don't know I how think, truthful that is, but I still think that would fuck with him so much if Andy just like grinded for a month and learned how to play the game and fucking beat his ass. Well, no, the joke though is it's a one v one in League of Legends. That's why it's funny. I, I'm just amazed yeah. that Andy went with it. <laughs> Andy will go with the lovable goof is so naive. It's it's <laughs> just one v one me in League of Legends, Andy. What are you doing? <laughs> that Destiny plays plan. that every fucking day. What are you doing? <laughs> Have a secret plan, guys. Don't tell anybody. Well, I still think if he grinded away for a month and just did that every fucking day, he he might be able to give him a challenge. He could if he was a little Asian kid. If he had those reflexes. Played StarCraft every day, all day, since he was fucking three. Maybe. Something like, like don't, don't fuck with Andy. He has a Switch. <laughs> he has a Switch. <laughs> Big Bing Wahoo. Yeah. Big Bing, 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 Bing Wahoo. <laughs> uh, did uh, anybody send an invite out to Ranting Monkey? Is he, is he going to pop on? Ranting yeah, Monkey no. and Christy. Yeah. No response. I'll throw no. Him DM. Oh, what a shock. No response. This is all right. This is what's common with this group: is lots to say on Twitter, not much to say when it's like, okay, we'll come and uh, say what you have to say about it. Well, yeah, I just want to be entertained. I want to hear people yelling at each other. If we can get that going, I fucking love that. Oh, I'm I'm not mad at that at all. It's just it's so strange how this is this is the trend with this group. It's like lots and lots to complain about, but not much. Yesterday surprised me. I wasn't expecting much of yesterday of the fucking guy that would just go up to the police and security guards getting yelled at. People got fucking mad. Oh, you, you know, actually, speaking of the, um, because you guys brought up the Sargon thing, did you see the, uh, the uh, I believe it was from The Daily Show, I'm not sure, the clip that they put up uh, uh, regarding the liberalist oh. book? Oh, that was fucking, uh, the, the, the reading Daily. from that guy. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about with oh, the spooky music? Oh, so fucking funny, man. I was dying yesterday. You should play that. There's a lot of that shit out there. Yeah, Tonka, have you seen that? You should play that. I, I haven't, really but I know that funny. Viacom doesn't play. Oh, Viacom. no, no. This there, this isn't a, a Viacom thing. 
Uh, what is it? I thought I thought you said that the Daily Show put it up. What is it? No, no, Daily Show, the Mikey Enoch Show. Oh, Daily Show. Okay, that's Showa. okay. That's Showa. okay. Yeah, not gotcha. Show. Show. There you I was go. Like, well, what see if the I can fuck find is it. the Daily Show going in on Sargon? For? <laughs> <laughs> well, that would have been even weirder. But yeah, yeah. Trevor Noah just decided to shoot uh, shoot a few across. For the real? <laughs> what the fuck is that about? But yeah, oh, no, I put I it. In, I'll put it in the. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll put it in the side chat for you. Failure. Just play it over your. Uh, voice meter there you go so we don't have to i, I believe that's it i believe that's it yeah it's really funny it's uh yeah chronos has the clip up on his channel yeah he, he was always doing, uh... does doesn't he yeah because i was i was looking for uh like i said i was trying to catch up and i know he clips a lot of andy streams mm -hmm. so i went on there looking to see kind of what i missed uh and figure if he had other interesting shit up there and it's one of them so i was like okay it's good i'll take it no chronos does god's work does is failure alive? Failure. Right, yeah, I'm just sleeps. popping up the voice meter. Oh, oh there he is. He <laughs> sleeps with the trouts now. Yeah. <laughs> he sleeps with the trouts. <laughs> All right. Here we go. There is an international movement of intellectuals and activists that is sweeping the internet. It is a phenomenon that has taken over the academic discourse of our best institutions. This phenomenon is, of course, the liberalist society. This digital modern day Algonquin round table of skeptics is the long anticipated and highly touted brainchild of the modern era's most celebrated cultural icon, Sargon of Akkad. <laughs> this revolutionary movement all began just a few weeks ago. Everyone is aware of the recent debate hosted by outspoken Holocaust denier and SPLC prank caller Andy Race Worski, in which white nationalist Richard Spencer faced the erudite Sargon of Akkad, de facto leader of the skeptic community, originally a loose association of like-minded individuals who had given up on the idea of ever getting laid. <laughs> Though many outside of this affiliation believe that Sargon is just one more failed debate away from night manager of a Manchester Waffle House, his supporters remain confident in his performance. According to his acolytes, Sargon, with a wit as subtle as a gay pride parade, deftly BTFO'd Spencer by using his patented anti-SJW debating technique of annoyingly over-enunciating Richard's name. Sounding like the haughty principal in a British schoolgirl spanking video, Sargon espoused such penetrating arguments as, Richard, are white people even allowed to have tans in the ethnostate, Richard? You don't even know, do you, Richard? And, Richard, have you ever even read Locke's second treatise on civil government, Richard? And, of course, his irrefutable argument, Richard... My dad could beat up your dad, Richard, because he's black, Richard. <laughs> Mentally, as nimble as Gene Kelly on a rainy day and about as relevant as that reference, Sargon wove a coherent argument against the proponents of whiteness, citing famous 17th and 18th century luminaries. Sargon laid out an unassailable series of postulates in logical progression to counter Spencer, such as his ingenious horseshoe theory, which equivocates the alt-right with SJWs. According to Spencer, however, the thing about horseshoes is that it is usually full of horse shit. <laughs> Despite his unanimously recognized victory amongst the skeptic community, Sargon did reflect, as above average intellects are wont to do, on some of the points Spencer introduced into the debate. After much consideration, he felt that the only way to champion his brand of pure individualism was to unilaterally create a litany of vague principles in order to collectively counter these socialist racists. Much like Gautama, who meditated under a tree for 49 straight days before developing the principles of Buddhism, Sargon spent 49 minutes perusing an FEE magazine from 1984 to develop the revolutionary principles of the liberalist society. Sargon, publishing his list quicker than Paul Nealon in a kosher deli, soon had the internet's a buzz. 
The first and foremost of his principles is the dissemination of interracial male butt love porn, otherwise known as the Librafist principle. Participation in and appreciation of such an art form is the natural inclination of the truly independent mind. Other liberalist principles published on the website include the presumption of innocence until proven guilty and the freedom to practice the religion of your choice and, of course, the complete and utter ban of the Faustian spirit. Sargon also decided to tackle the idea of race realism and man's ethnocentric nature. Delving into his own deeply tanned genealogy, Sargon made an in-depth study of the perfect ethnostate that reflected both his own ancestry and his particular brand of individualism. In his latest video, in which he rebrands himself as Sargon of Wakanda, he is now seriously considering changing the name liberalist with the more accurate and ethnocentric Liberianist. Despite his long-standing claims of liking chitlins and large-ass white women, some have had the temerity to question Sargon's assertion that he was third from left in the famous dancing scene from 12 Years a Slave. To satisfy his detractors, he agreed to submit a DNA sample for genetic screening. His 23andMe results were quite interesting. 41% showed Northwest European origin. 14% Southern European. 8% Ashkenazi Jew and the remaining 37% HIV positive. To conclude, the alt-right must come to the stark realization that Sargon's liberalist society represents its greatest existential threat since Boomer posting. All we have to counteract this cultural force is a return to our roots, a return to what has given us strength in the past and a vision of what the future can hold. That is, of course, esoteric Jahanism and the oven men who still keep the faith. I have another very interesting... Oh, right into, right into JF. Right into JF. I just, I, I, the, my favorite bit in that is the HIV, or HIV positive one from the 23 yeah. and Me results. I fucking love that. Okay, the 23 and Me thing with Sargon. I keep getting mixed stories of that. What's the deal with that? Like, he said... Uh, I don't know if he actually did like... a 23 and Me. I just thought oh. the fucking punchline to that was funny there, I, I know that a real we're talking thing. about him him claiming to have a, a black grandfather and that his father was like half black but uh, I, I don't know if what, what's going on with that claim Andy do you have any idea do you know things Andy Andy has muted himself uh, he's in hiding right now because he heard ranting monkey might be coming <laughs> yep, it's the fear he's got monkey. Andy don't say a thing if you are a giant bitch ass pussy <laughs> Andy, don't respond if you are pissing in your panties right now. Just fearing hey, the monkey. Hey, hey, Andy, don't respond if your mouth is full of peckers or something. No, uh, Andy, if you got dicks in there, don't say a thing. <laughs> Not a Just bee. mumble a little for us. <laughs> Nothing? Is he smoking a joint right now? What is he doing? I bet he fucking is. Guys, guys. Oh, I <laughs> Oh, there we are. Hang on, yeah. Did, uh, did you take all the peckers out of your mouth or something? Wait, did you not read my uh, my, my chat? I just said, I'll be back in a second. I uh, I boiled up some water for an instant coffee, and then I realized I don't have any, so I, I have to brew some. I'm brewing coffee. So when you say you boiled up water for instant coffee, do you mean that the bong water overheated by accident? <laughs> no, no. I, I, I legit ran out of my instant coffee, so I'm... Uh, I'm uh, brewing up some coffee. It should be done in the, in the second year. Sounds like a terrible so. plan. I, I DM'd ranting, but there's no blue check mark yet. Well, there's not going to be because he's he's dodging. You think, he's not, you think he's dodging? or Everybody or maybe... dodges. This is what they do. They just want to make response videos a week later or some shit. Let me see. Ranting mm -hmm. monkey. I want to see maybe uh, let me see if he tweeted recently because he might be at work, you know? Of course. Blood sports are bad because they make it to where our fucking videos are late as fuck by the time they come out. I, I'm a little disappointed. I'm expecting all these rematches, you know, unknown archive or ranting monkey, or I'm expecting Zeph and Liz to show up, or maybe V and Coach to go at each other. Anybody? It's the oh. ten thousand sub special. Somebody show up and have you a go. Hear? You didn't hear? Liz is back. 
She made a video saying she's back now. Oh, oh well, bring her on the Kumite. Let's let's hear that go. Well, she yeah, says she's also moving on. Everybody's moving on. What the fuck? She says she's moving on, but she also said she created me. Oh, yeah, that's part of the video. She created Tonka. I created you, Tonka, and I gave you friends. Maybe you need to, you know, for your 10,000 special, uh, Tonka, maybe you need to pull the audience and ask them uh, who wants to come on and yell at people. Have we, a little viewer interaction for that We tried special. that a little yesterday. You know what? I'll... It's my 10,000 sub special. You're you're here and, you know, you've risen like Jesus on the third day. But why don't you pull them? Why don't you pick out somebody who's out there with a fight? And maybe they'll actually fucking pull it off for you. You have the peer pressure power, Billy No Bully. Uh, well, chat, is there anybody that wants to come on and uh, scream at Andy for smoking bongs right now when he should be talking? There's always anybody, people anybody who wants to do want that? to. You oh, can't. oh, well, that's interesting, the side chat. A failure. You want to try it? Can you set that one up? Let me see this. Oh. Sad. Hurtful. Wait, wait, wait. Fuck it. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. If that, yeah. it, no, you make it clear. That's You make it, you get them and let it go down. All right. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll get this. Wait, you you dig that one, Billy? That's a that's an interesting matchup. I don't know what I I watched that one. Sure. That's interesting. Let me let me work on that one then. Uh, now you got to bring in the veteran first. You got to bring in. The... Uh, you got somebody in chat. I I don't know if they're saying they want to come on. Alternative facts said I do. Which alternative facts? Is it fake alternative facts? I I don't know. Is there a way to check? Uh, open up for their channel thing. If it's fake alternative facts, then for fuck's sake, no parody people. Parody people are so cringe. Let's I'll have to wait for him to uh, comment again to see if it pops up. Boy, your 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 uh, ten thousand special is just not working out really well right now, is it? Not at the moment because that is a parody. Don't. Uh... Don't start putting on the special just yet, all right? Well, now, Andy's fucking coffee's not going right. No, no, it's good. Oh, no. It's good. We've resurrected is... Medicare, so I'm okay with my special. I'm good with it. I would prefer to get somebody in the fucking cage, though. Can we get someone in the cage, please? Come on! I'm working on it. I'm working I, on it. I find it harder now to get... Um... Actually, you know what might be easier? Uh, Taka, uh, your, your Twitter's not like some... Um... <laughs> well kept secret is it if i put your twitter handle out there and ask them to tweet at you if they want to come on well, it might be failures, easier to sort failures out. better to do it uh throw failures out there uh, okay well yeah throw his uh tell him what the what they should be tweeting at yeah, he's the one in charge of everything <laughs> check the side chat <laughs> see uh, what i just <laughs> let's see let's see if it, it, what's going down so, all right Oh, uh, I, I don't know if Spoony One is here right now, so I'm not sure what this is going to lead to, but let's do it. Oh, God. <laughs> One, but not forgotten. Toad versus, versus Coach Red Pill. It's all right, Chad. If you want to come on. God damn it, chat, Andy. Uh, <laughs> no, I want to chat. No, wow. no, literally. Wow. Literally, no, everyone, Everyone in the chat, I'm reading the chat, you guys. Fucking everyone's in yeah, Toad versus Coach Red Pill. We're God, trying. you're like that. I'm you're... working on it, Andy. I'm working on it. Oh, okay. Holy shit. Just, I'm reading the fucking chat. The fuck, like literally everyone's worst. You like that kid on Chris? You, you know, you're the little kid that can't wait for Christmas, so <laughs> you open up the fucking presents like a week ahead of time and then reseal them. And then try to be subtle, like you're still surprised. Like, oh wow, I didn't <laughs> oh, see this coming. <laughs> Coach Rudpill, who would have imagined he's here? Oh my god. Oh, I am oh a piece of shit, aren't I? Yes, you are, Andy. You're the fucking you worst. Your, your fucking secret plans. Jesus Christ. Fucking, you fucking white nigger. Oh, God help Canada if it ever has a civil war and you're in the fucking intelligence community for him. Uh, hey, hey oh, guys. Uh, here's no, I was DM'd, by the way. Talking about. What's that? I was DM'd by someone saying, hey, Andy, uh, Monkey might be asleep or busy with his family. He usually is. Oh, well, yeah, shit Cowarding happens. out. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and sleep through a fucking battle. That's right, ranting. Coward. Boy, throwing, throwing out some shade there, Andy. 
God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and he comes from fucking scalps and shit. Uh, not my show. Taco, what do you think on the side chat? All right, let me let me peep this. See what's happening. Uh, well, if we can't get the other bout, then yeah. But I mean, if we've got the other bout locked and ready to go, we've got it. Failure. Uh, what, what is your Twitter, Twitter handle again? Uh, failure hates you. Okay, uh, chat. If you want to come on and uh, do some blood sports, tweet at failure hates you, and. Uh, he will. He will. He will pick the interesting ones. Do not disappoint, resurrected Billy. He he didn't survive the cancer age for this. Uh, we got one person saying, "Invite me on." Uh, I was the caller that. Uh, I was the caller on Andy's that destroyed CRP. Oh, that's well, this guy. He went. He went at fucking Coach Red Bill pretty bad. Oh, was that the opening? Was that the first caller? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. And that actually, was funny. Actually, he has beef with you, Jim. Oh, well, bring him on. Oh, oh, really? Jim gonna have a go at some. Somebody's finally gonna show. Jim's like two and zero oh for people who just never even came out to the ring. The fun times ahead. Oh shit. I have a problem with Jim. Are you medically cleared, Jim? I mean, I, 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 I put me in, coach. I'll give him <laughs> my best shot. Oh fuck! All right, dude. This is real. At the 10K celebration, we're going to actually get someone in the fucking cage with Jim. Fine, fine times. <laughs> I'm ready for this shit. What the hey guys, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, turn you off, might want to turn, turn off your uh, audio off, though. Yeah, you got a little bit of echo going on. All right, what do we refer to you as? Because it's giving us a name there, and I don't want to. I don't want to fuck anything up. Let me just uh, figure out how this works. How do I mute myself here? Is this, there's a button here, right? Yeah, the, at the very top, uh, when you're hovering over the, like the Google Hangout window, you see right next to the little camera icon in the far left. Middle okay, tab. okay, and let me know if I fuck up, if I'm breathing on my mic or anything like that. No, if you, you really want to fix fine. it. No, no, if you really want to fix it, it's the button on the very far right that looks like uh the the red one. Mm, the red one. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, oh, okay, okay, Billy. Here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. You, you gotta be you real with your friend because you already pulled this shit out four times. You know, the the thing is, you feel pull, bad. Pulled what? Pulled because, what out? No, the thing is, you want to make the the videos that make you laugh, and then when you feel like you're pleasing the audience, you start feeling bad, and then you want to do the whole thing again, where oh, it was never about this for me, my artistic integrity, and now you're pretending to be sick. <laughs> I I don't think I've ever used the phrase artistic integrity. It sounds a little bit faggy to me, Gaston. Yeah, but. What you said before is like, uh, well, let me think about the last time you did this. was in Gamergate, wasn't it? Well, when you said, oh, now this movie is full of fans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nobody's going to recognize me. And then you come back and you get all your fans back and you pretend that nothing happens. Well, Gaston, though, if you remember when I when I did that with uh, Gamergate, I left up a Vokaru saying, you know, fuck this shit, I'm done. It's not like it was a, a mysterious disappearance. I... I fucking outright said, yeah, I'm done. Goodbye. I even posted on Twitter yeah. saying, yeah, I'm done. Goodbye. Yeah, but the, no, the conversation I had with Sargon, he had a point. He had a point uh, when he said uh, that it's hard. I mean, you said that. It's hard for you to make videos that you don't want to make. And now you're starting yeah. to feel that pressure because you're getting Patreon money. So now well, you don't no, feel I've been, like... I've been still making the videos that I want to make. I mean, I covered Randy Stairs and his... Uh, transsexual ghost girls thing. I've covered diaper furs shoving bike pumps up their ass. I covered a whole sorts of fucking crazy nutty fuckers. I mean, that's the I'm kind just, of shit that I've, just, I've always liked. No, I'm just calling in, calling out, man, your problem because you know this is real. You haven't made, made a video in more than a week because you don't know if it's a video you want to make or if you're just putting out there for the Well, show. no, I have videos I want to make. I wanted to cover the couch cuck shooter, the uh, Ed Sisop that fucked up his killing spree. I wanted to cover Overwatch and their faggotry with uh, going after their player base and monitoring their social media then, and doing shit like that. 
then fucking do it. There are like 10,000 of... Gaston, I, I, I put up that I don't... I'm like sick, so I'm working through that. If I'm too sick to do it, I'm just not going to do it. You don't sound sick to me, man. Well, I'm glad that you have a doctorate in internet diagnosing. Thank you for, for fucking examining me. Aside from the yellow fever? Uh, well, the yellow fever is a severe sick. case. It's fucking terminal. I love that slanted pussy. All right, man. I think I have to, I have to take the L to Billy. I just can't cannot get on this guy's skin. Oh well. Hey, we've got a second. Uh, we've got a second person in here. If you'd like to resume. You know, I feel bad for Coach. I don't want to pick on him anymore. Last time, okay. I was going to go for a better prey, you know, but uh, I think I'm still down on the food chain from you, Billy. Unfortunately. I, I like banter. That's fine. No, I mean, if I really wanted to just quit, I uh, guess, then I, I, I would. It's uh, it's just I've got shit popping up, and I don't know which way it's going to break. And because people are paying me to do videos, I felt obligated to tell them, hey, shit may be coming on down the line, and if I've got to do this, I'm going to pull this down. Trying to trying to be responsible. Try not to pull a spoonie where I just leave a Patreon up and don't produce anything for eight months. All right. Can I just throw something different like out there? Three years. I think of... <laughs> yeah. I just want to get everybody's reaction on this. I think the funniest thing about yesterday's work screen was how the all the alt right faggots who say you know they are pro tradition are all white knighting for these chicks. I think that was ridiculous. I will say that I thought uh, Andy was it Sinatra that jumped in there. He seemed he seemed to he white knighted a little bit uh, pretty pretty hardcore when he popped into that fucking stream, man. He he he, he loves him some of the ladies that were in that stream. He he must be a Venti fan because yeah he he popped on there with uh, a little bit of in or er, indignation going on. Sinatra is all about that a girl. That 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 is his gimmick. That's why he is Sinatra, I think. Hey, hey sorry, yeah, I'm gonna run to the shop real quick, but I just heard what you were saying. Uh, yeah, that's why I kicked Sinatra within like three oh, you minutes. Kicked like, him. Yeah, well, I was like, he's like, he's like, Rouge, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, was that? why you wanted the link uh and he's like yeah and he's just like he wasn't really making a point love sinatra but i couldn't just have him in there yeah he was white knighting pretty hard love you sinatra he, he got a little heated yeah he got a little heated he seemed to yeah i want to pop in there but i, I thought the I, I liked the argument i thought it was a funny stream listening to everybody yell at each other it was good show. Oh, it was great yeah the blood was was fucking I, I like me and jf when everyone just left we just fucking laughed for five minutes because it was just like holy fuck that was beautiful what is more ridiculous to me is that the fucking obama robot chick you know because if you take a step back, and it's not like I think the Rush is great or anything, but if you take a step back, all we're doing is we're clapping for a chick that just makes robot. How pathetic is this? Really? Wow. Wait, which uh, which like one her? was the oh, which one was the Obama chick? I think uh, he made a robot that shoot uh, potatoes at Obama or something. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> we didn't hear that. No, I didn't what? fucking hear about a potato robot. It was Annika, shoot. Annika. Please, God. Is there a video of this? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I would have to. I'd have to ask her. I'll. I'll DM her and I'll ask her. I'm just gonna run in the no, shop I, I, real quick, all right, guys? Okay. All right. Her whole point back in was ten like, minutes. I'm, I, I'm a girl and I make robots, and these guys are supposed to be alt right. Are supposed to be for traditional venues. They're saying Roshvi is a fucking senegger. Come on. Hey, I just I just like uh, observing people yell at each other. I mean that that really is just it, it warms the the uh, <laughs> of my heart. I, I enjoy that. It's entertainment. So, uh, it's conflict. It is. It is fucking entertainment. On the most basic human level, conflict is the it's it's the simplest form of entertainment. Two people. I like the I like the period to spiral. I don't think it's a bad thing. Like people say, I think it's a distilling process. Well, I wouldn't even call it a purity spiral. I mean, I don't think a lot of these people are even really associated with each other politically, to be honest with you. I mean, I think they kind of come from all different camps. I think it's more just fucking Jerry Springer level shit. It's really basic fucking stuff, which is why it's entertaining. It worked for Morton Downey. It worked to them. It worked to them. It well, it worked for Downey until he drew a backward swastika on his forehead. Yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Until that. I think, is Jerry Springer still going? 
No, I think he's done. He's, he's so done? fucking rich at this point. Why would he continue doing anything? He's old as fuck, too. Yeah, he's probably fucking 20 year olds and, you know, fanning himself with $100 bills. Remember, remember the Ringmaster? That was a fucking good movie. Now, uh, Coach, Coach, you there? Yeah. Uh, now, when are we getting your rematch with V? No, but why? Why would I bother? Because I fucking, I, I just, I like watching. Yeah, because you, you, it, because it's entertaining for you, but it's. Well, I, th I think you're starting to get your footing, though. I mean, at the no, first couple of uh, blood sports I, arenas, Kumite no, stuff, you were a little uneasy, a little unsure, but I think you're getting into the swing of it now. Well, I, I, I would. I can't say anything intelligent to that. That's very nice of you to say, but I don't think I think that you're totally wrong and just fucking with me to get me to egg me on to uh, to get it, it more of it. No, 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 it's it's a baptism of fire. You've you've got to you got to you got to get burnt a little bit until you get used to it, and then once you got the hang of it, you're good to go. Well, what, I, I think when you're did you hang start? When when did you start before like streams were happening? What's that? When did I what? When did you start uh, doing it? Oh, I've been arguing with fucking idiots on the internet for like a decade now. But why would you bother? I mean, isn't it boring? Oh, fuck no. I mean, You're telling me you don't enjoy telling somebody they're a fucking retard on Twitter or coming up with a funny fucking jab at somebody when you're on a stream? Well, okay, fair enough. Yeah, because uh, yesterday there was this guy, uh, just fucking moron, just like filming people, filming people at a, at a courthouse and filming the cops and just being a nuisance. And it was just so incredibly retarded, and it was, yes, it was interesting and fun for a while, but... People wanted me to get Jim on for that. Uh, that guy wanted to go against you, Jim. I'm not kidding. Uh, he Was, was it a sovereign those... citizen? He's one of those lads who like yeah, to film I... the cops, and, you know, they have their rights, and... Yeah, he's a silent citizen. He When, when people come up to him, he doesn't say anything. Oh, my God, I would have loved for... to have been on for that shit. Yeah, no, that would have been fun. Does he have a land boat? Look, Does if, he travel rather than drive? Is that what we're dealing with here? If he what? is in what? the crowd and would like to have a go at Jim, that would make my life. Because, like, for me, oh, it's just, God, ah, oh, fuck the summer citizenship. But for you, like, apparently everybody's like, oh, he did the series on it. Jim would go in. This would be great. Well, yeah, if he's yeah alive, I'd love to hear somebody know. tell me their birth certificate is a fucking uh, bond held in security at the Social Security Administration, <laughs> meaning they're <laughs> worth a million dollars. I'd love to fucking hear that. Oh god! Oh, it was brutal. It, it was a brutal day. I think. Yeah, uh, and then some cop showed up and started arguing with the kid, and the, cop the kid was sounded just... like Bill Clinton. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. He certainly did. And well, yeah. There's just... there's no love loss between those two groups. I know cops fucking hate him. Um, I got a lot of messages from cops when I did those videos saying uh, that you know they're always freaked out when they got to deal with them, and there's like special training mm -hmm. now for how to deal with the sovereign citizen. They have a special training procedure for police officers now. <laughs> On how to deal with that shit when they encounter it. To be fair, a lot of people disagreed with the person that came on. Well, they like, they may know. have, but like, here's the this is the funny shit about this is like yesterday when he was on, I bet he didn't think that the very next day they'd be like, okay, well here's Jim. <laughs> yeah, no, if if, he, if he's reachable today, yeah, I'd, I'd be okay. talking. I know he ain't got no goddamn job, so get him in. Here. Uh, he, he 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 says, give him a few minutes and he'll be here. Oh, oh fun times. shit. Okay, chat, start start spamming really happy emojis because this shit's going down. Under the Articles of Confederation, we are going to have some blood sports. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, God damn it. All right. Yeah, I just, I'm, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Here we go. <laughs> So, Billy, do you prefer waffles or pancakes? I am a waffle guy. You are? Kami. I'm will a waffle guy. Even, will you even but, fuck but they with get all hard sometimes, though. though. Don't, don't, you, don't you prefer the fluffy goodness of the pancake? Nah, fuck the fluffy pancake. I want a crispy pancake, man. You know, I, I think with pancakes, they're, they're a little too... I don't know. They're, they're just a little too sweet for me, to be honest with you. I prefer. I prefer. You don't, have, you don't have to fucking pour diabetes on it. You could. You just have a plain pancake. But they come so sweet, as as opposed to fucking waffles that you know. I, I kind of get them on that because I don't really like sweet shit either. But I like pancakes more than I like waffles. I think. Let's see. Waffle strong, durable, right? A it's pancake strong, fluffy, durable. weak, flappy. <laughs> you know what? What do you think is a soy boy between these two? I'm gonna say pancakes. 
Motherfucker, get this the fucking The waffle is the Brock Lesnar of morning pastry. People are saying crepes. Get the fucking crepes out of my fucking face. Crepes leave you fucking disappointed. There's never enough of the filling. Never enough of the fucking crepe. Fuck that shit. Do, do crepes give you the crepes? Yeah. Crepe Especially crepes. when they're filled with Nutella. Are, are, are you done with Nutella? Is, is Nutella in, in, in everything at this point? Is it the... They might be. Hold on. I just thought of this. We may not have a chance to get any more of these, but before we get this crazy dude in, failure. Can you could 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 you grab some of the signs that were taken away from the crowd because there may be about a thousand at this point. Yeah, yeah. There there might be a fucking obscene amount of signs that uh are in the backlog. This is as close of a thing uh, as to a break as we're going to get. All right. Uh, Pop TV says to him, this probably looks like uh, it takes less work than what he does that may piss him off. Uh, talking about Sargon, I think. Trash man for two bucks says Sargon, bitch. Fragile Eagle, great impression, Andy. Uh, Janice Phillips for five bucks says Tonga. I think that's why Sargon started doing live shows. His first uh, one sold out fast. YouTube is changing and he's crying. We'll see if he succeeds. Uh, Kenny OMG says uh, for ten bucks. Uh, the only thing I dislike about the alt right is the ball licking and the dick sucking. It's pretty gay. My limit is when people start uh, fantasi- fantasizing about giving Richard Spencer a rim job. Fucking hell. Super Bear is eighty one. Andy, no doubt. <laughs> the the attacks come from jealousy. WHM says uh, who cares about the death rattle of Jeff Holiday. Raven Ruin says, like I say, it's a uh, ankle biter season. Uh, do not concern yourself uh, with these jealous uh, losers. You can't monetize Twitter whining. Corbin Thomas says, how dare Andy address things on his terms? Uh, Crucial Bunny says, uh, hey, Jeff and crew, uh, make better content, sluts. Uh, <laughs> sessional detective. I bet you Jeff is a part of uh, the cabinal. Uh, <laughs> cannibal community. Uh, Black D Dragon says, let's tell Andy he owes me and Azu a hangout. Uh, Kenny OMG, Andy, why are you always talking beyond people's back? Burger Lord says, so when Soy Gone called the chat white niggers, does that mean he knows what white is? Toxic Mouth for 20 bucks says, congrats on 10K. I've only started listening to you guys a few months ago. Love the show. My question is, why are there so many bitch-made men in this community? It's the one thing uh, that still bugs me. It must be the soy. Um, Kenny OMG says, uh, V is my god, and Billy is his prophet. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Billy? The prophet of V, Billy. Uh, no. No. No, that's <laughs> <laughs> Billy didn't even have shit for that. He's just like, ah, no. <laughs> well, Water Javis says, let's get let's get to the real issue here. Is Jim okay? And where do I donate this pile of money to cure his cancer AIDS? I would assume the Lord for five bucks says, <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, you can you can donate that money to uh, Monday Matt. Feel <laughs> free. He's gonna need it. He had an emotional breakdown uh, when he got his plaque. We don't know if he's okay, so it'd probably yeah. probably do him good. Yeah. Andrew Ritzke's, uh stream freedom of speech in its pure form, <laughs> purest form. Uh, Septics preached my halls of debate, but only bring on low hanging fruits as a burger lord. Um, American Gadfly for five bucks says it, it kind of it kind of is though. Between Andy Show and the Kumite and others, I don't have time for boring ass response videos. Uh, Andrew Wilson. Says Medicare is far sighted in recognizing uh, Atanka and Andy's new innovative uh, blood sports format. Uh, as the Spencer Sargon chat proved, it, it, it can move political discussion development forwards. Keep this format going. Uh, Lama Dirk says uh, Andy brings a harpoon to the whaling wall. <laughs> Black D Dragon says Andy the Fag Warski. Uh, Cody Turner says, I pay Andy lots of money to insult him. Welcome to the internet. Uh, by the way, you'll get your stream one day, Cody. One one day you'll get your stream. Uh, Andrew Wilson says, Andrew, white nigger Worski. <laughs> Toad McKinley says, press one of Jeff Fuel. Can't melt steel beams. Uh, Wolf says, Jim is a glow-in-the-dark CIA nigger. <laughs> Fuckwad says, poor Jim is three days away from being a bubble boy. Uh, crackpot, fear the <laughs> finger. <laughs> fear the finger. <laughs> Ultra grade says, Andy, did you did you get my message I sent you? 
Again, Ultra Gear for two bucks. Andy, did you get my message I sent you? Trash Man for two bucks says, press one if Sargon takes the internet too seriously. Water Drabble says for five bucks. Tonka, as you would say, the Kumite and the Kumite chat is razor blades and lemon juice. If you stage dive into this crowd, we're taking our pound of flesh. Uh, New Age Culture says, hiya, Billy. Would you <laughs> like a balloon? I got a lot more in my sewer. Come on, I won't bite. <laughs> Your arm off. Ha 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 ha. Uh, Marty Sparge says, uh, Jimmy is going to stop. Oh, Jim is going to stop making uh, videos because he has allergies. Uh, Lemon Sister went down smooth. Uh, says CEO, we're, uh, CEO fears V. Uh, American Gadfly, I do. Fucking ranting monkey. Uh, Destruction Jenkins. Toad versus CRP deathmatch. Uh, is that gonna happen anytime soon? I don't know. Well, let's see. Trash man says for two bucks. Matt worked in Hollywood. Look at his IMDb. Dragon Strike uh, Thunder Force says, uh, Tell Billy he's a fat, a faggot nigger. Hey, Billy, you're a faggot nigger. Message received. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Dog Bath says, Every drop of blood spilled in the Kumite helps Jim get into a Somali Valhalla. Uh, don't listen to. AI simulation. Jim is as dead as six million Navajo samurai. Worst that I might ever says. Hold on, I had to take a conference call. I thought Medica was either dead or suffering from AIDS. Flare up. Uh, what the fuck is going on here? Uh, Trash man says. Andy, tell Jim how Liz's meat flap and garlicky butter special pizza tastes. Don't Yummy. the maggots make it taste better? Mmm, mm, delicious. Worst that might ever says, get get profit for old time's sake. Fuck the profit. Uh, Corbin Thomas is a new sponsor. Welcome, welcome Corbin. Uh, you Appreciate too can you, have, uh, you know, the special emojis, the, the failure head emoji, the vamp head emoji, even even the Tonka emoji. Maybe, maybe one day we'll get a Medica emoji in there. But you, you, you get um, them. Uh, no, possible. we need the scared Medica face or the happy Billy <laughs> face, one of the two. That'll be the next emoji. Good call. Or angry Andy with the toboggan on. That'll be the next one. Yeah, I, I got five more signs and then we're done. Worst that might ever says gas the boomer. Crackbot says Billy shove a bike pump up his ass. Uh, Pop TV says Jim Belgian waffle or normal. Uh, I actually like Belgian waffles. And Tankfish. Getting to know But Jim. Billy. Billy, as, as the anti-bully, why are you bullying a poor, delusional, sovereign citizen? I don't bully anybody. It's all love and friendship and hugs and shit on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Cody Trenner with one more says, don't get my hopes up and then take them away, failure. I can't handle the emotional turmoil that it will cause. The, you can't be fucking with people's, you know, their emotions like that, failure. That's just fucked up. That's just dirty. Uh, gonna jump over real quick from insane hippie hippie insane. Here's ten dollars for the Kumite belt when you get to your button, Tonka saw. Appreciate you, bud. And Fug donated too to say Destiny's minions have been raiding Discord servers and recording voice chats. Mm. Uh, I have I have a sign, a backstage sign, which a I don't know if it's or not. But uh, but Chrono says, uh, Medica, wet bread or beef curtains? Say that one again. What bread or beef curtains? Oh, I choose suicide. <laughs> suicide, simple coup. I can be your second. Uh, we we got a response oh, from the ranting monkey. He says, "Ranting monkey says no, but thanks." Not oh, there you go. Andy's challenge has been denied. Another day, I guess. <laughs> All right. Not that it matters because Andy is not here. However, somebody no. else's challenge was most definitely answered. Billy, no bully. No, oh, we got we got the challenger. All right. It's the boot here. Yep, the boot is back. I'm not here to unperson people. Oh, I think Billy's gonna unperson the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I am behind the times. So what are we arguing about? What uh, what what's on the plate for today? Um. How should I put it? I, I deal with civil rights stuff. I go around and I film government buildings, police officers, law enforcement, security personnel, all all that stuff. But uh, of course, everybody likes to assume I'm a sovereign citizen. No, I am not. I, I don't. Well, you, do guys, the... you guys just cock tease me. You told him. You told me he was a fucking sovereign citizen. Let him talk. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. 
Probably the most famous videos I am known for on my channel, and yes, it's a very small and bullshit channel, um, is for giving people the silent treatment, where I'll sit there and film, and I'll have people come up to me and try to ask me questions, and I just completely ignore them. I don't respond to them at all. Whoa, 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 whoa. wait a second, wait a second. You, well, have like, like, you, you have like 10K subs. Are you calling Tonka's channel a small bullshit channel? Well, no, uh, he, the, he's different. He's got that. Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I think, I think I heard those words come out of your mouth. Out of your mouth. Did you say that Tonk is a fucking small bullshit channel? Or did you just come inside his house and fucking spit on the carpet? Is that what you did? No, no. He gets. I put out a live stream. I get maybe uh, 50 to 100 views. He puts out a live stream. He gets over 1,000. He's a bigger channel than me. He is a bigger channel than me. I will admit that I, right here. And I now. still think you came in here and spit on the carpet. My brothers, spit on this man. <laughs> uh, are we going Uganda Knuckles in here? Uh, let, let, it, let, him, let him talk about his position real quick. Just, just Well, yeah, let, let's hear your position. So you film people and don't talk to them. Okay, and? Uh, that's pretty much about it. I mean, I just exercise civil rights and deal with that aspect. That's, that's not all of it. Uh, see, I mean, you guys, CRP, you guys got me was, here, CRP was here yesterday, and he he was able to pull a little bit more out of it. It's just, oh boy, <laughs> he's being drenched. Uh, well, coach, coach, do you want to tell me what I'm missing here? Well, I think that Dave himself could answer better than anybody. Uh, oh, Dave, Dave, you, you need a towel. You need we a were towel. talking. <laughs> you look mighty wet. We were t talking yesterday about. Um, I was asking him, and he was describing how he would stand outside of courtrooms and other uh, 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 public venues and just film. And usually, like, the police would go up to him and ask him to remove himself or step off the property or what have you. And there'd be, like, uh, well, Dave, why don't you tell us? I mean, what would happen? Oh, okay. You'd stand there outside of a courtroom, and you're filming, and what happens next? Like, um, your big difference. It's a big difference, a courthouse, not the courtroom. Um, but okay. nonetheless, yes, I'm standing in a public area of a courthouse um, filming, uh, courtyard area. And uh, the uh, more recent uh, video that has gotten big uh, on my channel was me getting forcefully removed off uh, the court uh, courthouse property grounds um, by U.S. Marshal. Uh, that was a little heated thing between me and the U.S. Marshal there. U.S. Marshal's definitely along, uh, uh, in the wrong for uh, how the laws and uh, policies are all written right now uh, for that specific issue and, and has been with the DHS, uh, Department of Homeland Security. What about the thing where you're like screaming for him to give him your badge number? Uh, you know, I feel like I'm missing the punch of this. Is there a video we can watch of this? Can you fill me go, in with go that? To the, go to the video where he's like, give me your badge number and shit like this. Fucking... Oh, oh, you want the cringy part? Okay. Well, yeah, that's well, the fucking yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I yelled at them to give me the fuck their badge number and all that stuff for the other people that were around there that obviously worked, but they ignored me and walked off. While the only uh, the one that actually, well, uh, the, one of the two that put their hands on me that pushed me off, only gave him me his uh, name and badge number. So the guy that removed you gave gave you his badge and name. Yeah, well, only one of the uh, two. There was one other person. Uh, but I had, uh, what was it, there was three courthouse personnel. I'm pretty sure all three were marshals. And then um, there was some uh, uh, city police that were uh, present that were called to the scene. Well, I mean, this just, it, it strikes me as, I, I don't know, dumb, but I, 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 I need to see the video, softer. I guess. I feel like I'm, I'm missing something that you all have been exposed to that I have this not is, been exposed This is a much softer approach than we had yesterday. I have a feeling that, that he may have oh. refined his way of... His way of coming well, into this. Do you, do you want me to go? You want me to? We can uh, do the video. Failure can do the video. Yeah, let's get, give him the thing because uh, how should I put? It? I, I'm pretty tired still. I was after yesterday's thing. I had to go run errands and uh, bike ride most of that, so I'm pretty well. And from yes, that. we want blood sports. And yes, we're talking about the cringy <laughs> shit. You know that's what okay. we're talking about. Well, I, 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 well, I'm just explaining it. I mean, I'm waiting for more pushback. That's the thing. I mean, I, I got to get ramped up here. Well, yeah, I'm not I mean, hearing anything that's striking me as like I get it. Okay, he's outside filming shit at a courthouse. I, I, I mean, yeah, it'd probably be annoying, and he's gonna run into cops and shit. But if he's not a sovereign citizen, talking about his land boat, and the Articles of Confederation, 
It's two different things. So I need to see the video to get a better idea of what we're dealing with. Failure, can you screen share that? He he was shouting. It was the thing about rights and give me your badge number and like you were doing all that shit. That was what I was like. Oh God, dude, come well, on. Well, that was that was me and um uh Josh there that was going back and forth um and then uh, Ichabob because. Ichabob hopped on me uh, with a citation from the Fifth Amendment. I mean, not Fifth Amendment, from the um, Fifth Circuit Court uh, ruling that I, uh, as one of the citations I put there, uh, that put out there. And then uh, Josh there was stating that if I'm standing there two feet behind him, and film uh, and filming behind the cop, uh, if he was still a cop at that, uh, he would um, tell me to back off. If I didn't back off, he would uh, say it's a lawful order. And if I still didn't, he would arrest me right then and there. And I point out that that doesn't work necessarily that way. Well, it looks like Failure's got this up. Failure, you want to unmute yeah, okay. yourself and put it up on screen share so we can see what everybody's talking about so I can get clued into what's going on. Yesterday, he was, he wanted you specifically. We just, we couldn't, we couldn't get you. Okay, so this is, this is the courthouse thing you're talking about? Yeah, this is the, the one that, the, the most recent big blow up that I have. Okay, let's, let's take a look. Filming? No? Okay, uh, I'm going to tell you one more time, please, uh, to exit the federal grounds with the camera there. I think you're pretty ignorant on the law. Okay. Um, anything else? DHS memo, 2010. Go look it up. Come back to me when you have. Okay. Are you leaving? Sir, are you leaving? I said 2010 Sir, DHS I'm just, I'm gonna, memo. I'm going to take this Which, from you nicely. No. I'm going to take it from you. You cannot be on federal grounds. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, name the, yeah, yeah. Sp uh, name the specific I'm law. I'm not naming anything. Name I'm not the naming specific anything. law. I'm not naming, I'm not and I get, need your badge I'm number. not going to I'll give you my badge number. I need I'm it not, now. I'm not going to get I need I'm, it now. It's not coming right now. I need just, it now. Just relax. I need it now. No. I the need it now. now. I'm money and I want it now. <laughs> But we're gonna, we're just gonna walk you off the ground. We don't want to take your stuff. You are. I'm act, gonna give you. This is illegal I'm, I'm, action. I'm gonna give you. This is an illegal action. No, it's not. I'm yes, gonna give you my badge is. number. Is this there is, anything I can do? That this will is an illegal you? action. Is there anything I can do? This that will is stop an illegal from... action. Okay. DHS memo 2010. Go look it up. Okay. Go read it again. Okay. Now. I'm I'm listening to you. Brother. Do you understand what I'm saying, though? Do you understand okay. what I'm saying? We're, we want you to walk off the grounds. There's other courses of action if you feel that your rights are violated. When we get off the grounds, I will give you my badge number for sure. Go look it up. I'm not looking anything up right now. Is there anything I can do without force that we can talk about to get this camera off federal grounds. This is an illegal uh, move. Get your hands off it's my camera. It's an illegal camera. move. You got the steel chair. Get your hands last, off my last, camera now. First, I'm going to take your camera. You guys don't okay. appreciate it. I'm going to take moves. your camera in not a physical way. Okay. Once I take your camera, please don't do anything that's physical. I see that you're shaking. There you go. There you go. There you go. Badge number. I, off the ground. Badge off number. Off Ground, badge oh, number. Don't stand it is completely legal. Double. Listen, sir. Look, you're in a weird. Hey, right. How about this? Go check your CFR and photography you're, right now. You're in a weird spot. No, I hey, am I not. Don't, I don't like you being in this spot. I would I hate for you to fall. Hey, okay. uh, how about this? Go check your CFR okay. and photography Walk right now. This way. Walk hey, over hands this. off. Okay, now. Hands off. Don't do it. Okay. Hands off. Walk this way right now. Like, Hands off. Walk this what way. you're doing is completely Please illegal. Walk to walk. Hey, if you put any I'm more not, pressure no on the pressure. Hands off! No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> Everything's fine. Okay. We're going to walk all the way down, all the way out. Make sure Who is your supervisor? Ground. Talk about it when we get off federal grounds here. Just give us a minute. This cop is polite. He also was completely in the wrong. Walk right over here. Nope. Okay. Hands off. Okay. I'm on public sidewalk. Okay. So there you go. Name badge number no, now. Listen, listen Who is your supervisor? What I'm saying. No. Listen Name badge number. Listen to what I'm saying. Okay. We're gonna go back on here. 
if you come back on this property with this camera right now, we're going to place you under arrest. Under what law? That's the last thing I say. Under what know. law? 4926 is my badge number. Kenny is my last name. Carol, C-A-R-R-O-L-L, -L, is my supervisor. Please don't come back on the property with that camera. This is your last warning. Thank you very much. Badge number. Badge number. Badge number! Jesus. You're shouting at him. He's Wait, there's, there's still... There's it's still, not like a spurt. There's still Pirate alert. Minutes. There's still that was, that was the most... Video. That was so anticlimactic. Okay, so it, he told you he'd arrest you if you left the... Fed, or if you came back on federal grounds. Did you go back on? Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm planning on going back, but right now there's a current uh, investigation going on into uh, this specific incident, so I haven't uh, decided to mess with that or interfere with that investigation. Well, cause any more. Well, no, I mean at the time, if you knew, if you believed you were in the right, if you you know believed the oh. DHS memo or whatever, why didn't you just go right back on? Um, how should I put it? Uh, I wasn't. Uh, how uh, I would if I didn't have something going on the next day. Uh, where being arrested would interfere with it. Yeah, I had uh, prior plans for the following day, and I was like, "Crap, I want to go back and go ahead and get the uh, push the arrest." But I had something too important your to do. Wait, 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 what were your plans? What was your plans for the next day? Another protest or something? No, no, it's uh, family matters. It was a family get together kind of thing. So let me understand so, it. Let me, let me understand it. Your, 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 your principles, you know, take a second place to your inconvenience. Is that how it works? I thought you were a principled guy. No, I've been arrested for this kind of stuff. It's just, you pick your fights when you, when you're able to do it. I'm not going to yeah, sit there. Have dinner. When you don't have a dinner date principles? tomorrow. It, 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 it's a, it was a bigger event than what I'm just saying. I'm just giving a basic understanding. So this way you guys have something to say, Hey, yeah, I well, had no, no, I'm just, I'm just trying to understand. Yeah. So, what was the point of going on there in the first place? So, you go on the federal, the grounds, wherever you were, the courthouse or whatever, yeah. uh, and you're filming stuff. What was your statement? What was the statement of doing that? It was just me documenting to see how uh, how they would handle my civil rights in the first place. So, once you how... see that they're going to violate your civil rights, you don't pursue it to give a concrete definition and have them arrest you, so you have a case and can say, "Hey, look, no, there DHS is a case." Memo. As I said, there is a case. It's being investigated right now. There's and you an went to court over this kind of stuff before, you said? Yes. Uh, back in, what was it, 2014, uh, me and the uh, Department of Homeland Security went at it uh, uh, for Anchorage, Alaska. And, and what, this, happened with, what happened with that one? Um, uh, they actually uh, tried, uh, they pushed uh, charges against me and then dropped them. They literally okay, was did like... You, did you per, like pursue a civil litigation against them if they violated your rights? What did you do with it? No, I did a follow-up investigation. They never caused any further problems. Um, I walked in. I filmed multiple times within the the federal courthouse, within the federal courthouses, um, up in Alaska, and haven't had any problems since. Well, I guess I just don't get like if you want to go do this and you know, um, show off your your civil rights or whatever rights you're you're exercising here. Why you wouldn't take it to to the fullest? Like when you have him at the point where you're saying you're what you're doing is wrong, it's illegal, and you could just set one more foot back on the ground. You're already there doing your demonstration. Well, I, I I've already how should I put? It? I've already gotten the document as much documentation as I needed for that point. If I really want to give it a hell mary, yes, I could. Uh, uh, I could have done that step back on there, but I had other plans uh, established, and for me, I I got what I needed. For an investigation to go forward, but then they uh, dropped. The, it they, but then they dropped the investigation. No, not with this one. The investigation is still ongoing. But by, by the way, I'm sorry. Just just for context, when was this recorded? When did this event happen? September 11th of last year. David, what's the best possible result you can achieve with this investigation, in your estimation? Um, that there will be a reissuing of the um, Department of Homeland Security memo except specifically dealing with the U.S. Marshals and, um, it, well, and having hopefully that reiterated and better stated to uh, courthouse personnel, security personnel, so this way they understand it. Because this is not the first time. There's been other people with federal courthouses that have had uh, similar run-ins. Oh, okay. uh, so what, 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 yeah. uh, memo. What's the memo? 
Uh, it's the 2010 Department of Homeland Security memo. If you give me a second, um, I can actually link it to you guys real fast here. And uh, it it's a stems from a uh, a case back in 2009, 2000. Uh, While there. you find those, uh, let me read some uh, signs real yeah. quick. Uh, Sono uh, WSKE says, uh, Jim, how do you how do you feel about the blue waffles? <laughs> yeah, no thanks. Fuck no, mm -hmm. no thanks. Uh, a pop TV says, as a former security guard, this man is a cunt. <sighs> Um, no Kenny, o Kenny OMG says, I just read the memo and he's actually right. And worst item I ever says, this cop is a fucking saint. Yeah, totally. Kenny Remarkable restraint. I mean, he oh, really okay. did. I'm, I'm, I'm reading your memo, right? And under Title 41, Section 102, it says uh, that you're allowed to do this unless otherwise directed by regulations, rules, orders, or directives. Uh, that's specifically uh, dealing with the inside, um, and this also stems from a uh, what is it? Um, uh, it the uh, was it uh, the New York ACLU was involved in this, uh, getting this memo issued in the first place. Okay. Yeah, but uh, and the thing is, is there is restrictions on recording inside the courthouse, but not outside, and uh, that specific uh, legal case that uh, that memo came from. This is almost the exact same situation. I'm standing in the courthouse there, uh, in the the uh, public courtyard area, uh, which the prior person was arrested twice on uh, for that. And why the heck are all the archive ones I have not popping up properly? Okay. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, I uh, listen. I, yeah. I don't have anything against you Doesn't for wanting to prove a point yeah. uh, legally, but it just <laughs> like. I don't think you're proving the point unless you get arrested. Like, if you're going to go there and do this, you need to get arrested to prove your point. You have to make it go through the system, yeah, you have not to just an investigation. Well, well, the thing is, is the uh, um, there's an investigation on that part, and there's there's a potential for a civil case. And depending on how the investigation goes, um, a civil case might be pushed further. Yeah, but so, you you already stated that you had a a, a similar run in or a prior run in uh, where charges were dropped and you said Alaska or something like that, but you didn't pursue, pursue civil litigation. Yeah, why because, would you do it now? Because uh, I'm pretty sure in this case that there you said it was for the views. Thing. But huh? Didn't you say yesterday that it was for the views and to have entertaining YouTube videos? No, I didn't say that. Well, that's uh, what no, I that was a question. That that, that was well, no, I, we no. You guys assumed that I said if I was doing this for the views, there's a lot different more ways I can do this to be more aggressive and all that stuff. Yeah, but uh, for me, I I do it more on the education stuff. Um, do the fact that I cover a lot of the case law and I provide uh, support also with other uh, activists that have been hemmed up by law enforcement and stuff like that for just filming. Okay. Well, I, I, I got to say, I'm bored with this. I thought you were a sovereign citizen. They built you up to be something that. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I he built there, himself built up, up that way yesterday. I I did not build myself up there. I sat there and I said, "There's a line in the law that and where it's at." And then me and Josh were arguing specifically where where that line All was right, at. Hold on, real quick, chat. If you think that he was coming in a whole lot hard, more hardcore yesterday, throw me a one in the chat. Throw Jim a one in the chat. If this dude was coming in 100% harder yesterday. It's going to be delayed. It takes like a minute for them to catch up. So we'll yeah. see. I, I, I think I, it's. I feel, I feel a lot of a, a reserved <laughs> version of yesterday. Listen, David, let me just give you my personal experience on this. I think you're a spoiled child. Okay. I was at Lebanon once visiting, and I was at a uh, taxi taking pictures. I took picture of the famous hotel, which uh, name I cannot remember now. And then the army chased my taxi down, brought me out, and said, "Look, Lebanon is a beautiful country. There are many, much scenery here for you to take pictures of, but please do not take pictures of uh, where you have uh, guards standing by because Israel may shoot a fucking missile any any time." And they took my phone and deleted it. And check my contacts to see if I was uh, messaging anybody. 
and they were very That's polite. Not. They said, you know, no, have a nice day. And you're you're just acting like a spoiled brat because if you were gonna get uh, okay, stop there, stop there. The there. I'm gonna, I want, I'm gonna inter- well, Here's let me the finish. thing. Let me finish. That's let me finish. Lebanon. That's Lebanon. That's this is the United States. If you if we you are getting something positive, let me fucking finish, David. You fucking brat. If you are getting something positive <laughs> for the American citizens, then yes, your work could be valid, but your work is both pointless and too boring. Did we lose him? I did. No, he's here. I, uh, no, no, well, he, like, it sounded like his sentence got cut off there. Uh, but yeah. no, the thing is, this is the United States, not Lebanon. We have a legal right to film anything we want inside, well, from a public area or a place we're legally allowed to be at. I think yeah, but you don't have the right to be a nuisance. Uh, no, no, the, he does have the right, CRP, to be honest. I think his main think objection is that you're, it, it would be that you're boring and pointless, was his main yeah. objection. Yes. Uh, okay, so I'm boring and pointless. I never said I was exciting. I never said everything I did was great. I, I read legal paperwork online of, on live streams that maybe get about 50 people to watch or something like that. I am not that big, famous kind of guy. I'm not some dude that pulls in a thousand people on a live stream or uh, 400,000 or whatever. I just do with simple stuff, boring stuff. Very few, I mean, very few times, it's a very exciting. I sit there and read case law. I listen to lawyers talk about legal issues. Yeah, but so, lawyers why? do that sometimes because there's a benefit to advancing the law and to the public or to the government to, to you know, uh, have seen things determined. If it's this way or that way, you're achieving nothing. nothing yes, we, I, I do achieve something. I, uh, if I find something, I can report on it. And if possible, and in some cases, it can turn into a case law like the Turner v. Driver, which I cited yesterday. Turner v. Driver was done doing the almost the exact same thing I was doing. That spe- stemmed from a guy that was filming a police station. And I haven't had a chance to go back over it because I think Ichabob I was actually misquoting the, the citation part, and I still got to go back and read that sentence through. Yeah, but I everybody knows time. if you, you go there with a sign or with a note and you deliver to the cop, this is the case law, this is my what I'm doing, this is the project, he wouldn't do anything. He might not even push you outside. The, so you don't do that on purpose just, just to act like a fucking spoiled child. The thing is, is I'm testing to make sure they understand people's rights. I'm not sitting there and trying to educate them. I want to know if they're going to be able to handle it without the uh, the knowledge beforehand. Because what if some random idiot that doesn't know much about it gets hemmed up for doing something similar? I'm just going to take a picture because this looks cool, or I have my friends here. And then some security guy or some cop or law enforcement personnel gets a freaking stick up his damn ass and says, uh, am I a liar? No, I'm You're a liar. Liar. I have. There's You're videos of this kind of shit out that happens out there. You know why you are a liar? Because if your interest was knowing if the policeman was educated or not, you would educate him. You purposely don't educate him. Just to it's show not your my job out. to educate them. I'm testing this. Then the why are you doing this? Dog? It sounds like Scarface is like so pissed. <laughs> As is as is, I'm testing what their knowledge is and to see if they're up to par. If they're not up to par, then it's on their department and the training schools that train them that get them trained back up to where they need to be at. I'm just being the guy. I'm just the 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 instructor. Well, the instructor that administrates the surprise quiz at the end of the day to see if everybody was studying their homework. So you're not a sovereign citizen. You're a citizen instructor. <laughs> something like that. Or, or something like that. I, I'm the guy that's issuing the tests. That's what I'm doing. He, he's testing it. So, you, so you're like the citizen proctor? Yeah, I, I guess so. I, I feel like there's a little bit of history here. Maybe I missed out on more <laughs> fire <laughs> talk yesterday. <laughs> Josh, you did. Josh, because like, <laughs> like when Josh was on, he yes, has like guys, a guys, guys, what, 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 do he, what do you call himself, a proctologist then? <laughs> 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 it's. I feel like we're getting we're getting a um a much softer boot than we got yesterday, and I, the chat yeah. agreed. It is yeah, a much I, softer I, I, position yeah, just, than yesterday. I I I just not, I'm I'm trying to get uh, get into the role, but I just how should I put? It? I feel like I'm doing more explaining than having to. Uh, somebody uh, in the chat wanted me defend. to ask you. Um, did you say that being a cop wasn't dangerous? It, yeah, it's, it's yeah. not as dangerous as people make it out to be. 
It's actually one of the safest <laughs> it, pr uh, professions out there when it comes to you know, work uh, on the Does job. Does anyone injuries. remember his quote yesterday? Because that was a pretty, uh, pretty fucking. You you were definitive on that shit, and it pissed off Joshy quick. Oh yeah, uh, Officer Clinton was not happy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how how is it not a dangerous job? What do you what do you mean by safest? Uh, okay, if you look at the um at the professions in the United States that uh, have the highest workforce um uh, um like death tolls and stuff like that, it doesn't even make it into those. Yes, they are in a position where they're at a higher risk for potential injury, but more often than not, because they're allowed to defend themselves and stuff like that. They have the ability to rest and call in numbers to uh, help back them up. They suffer a lot less in that uh, degree. You're more likely to get harmed or killed doing like commercial fishing or logging or something like that. Would you say working at McDonald's is more dangerous? Um, no, I would say being a convenience store clerk would be uh, more dangerous. Actually. More dangerous than being a cop. Yeah. Uh, what were in the top uh, rankings for jobs that were on that list that cops didn't make? Uh, well, I, I already stated too, uh, logging, um, a commercial fishing, construction work was actually in there too. Uh, actually, I'm going to pull it up right now. So the professions where big heavy shit falls on you. Pretty much, or, or something something can easily, uh, well, the environment's out to kill you or something like that. Okay. Uh, so would, actually, you say, would you say being a cop is easy? Easy? No, it's not easy. That's why they get paid a decent amount of money. So much softer than yesterday. I feel like I got nothing to work with here, guys. This is I don't, so I... marshmallow compared to this... what he was doing yesterday. <laughs> oh my god! I don't... Failure. You uh, were I... here. CRP. You were here. <laughs> Tell me if this is not just fucking. No, it's that we need uh, we Officer Clinton because Officer Clinton riled him up. Just the just the mere fact of him riled him up. <laughs> because I mean, like, look, you know, Dave. I, I mean, I think what you're doing is completely pointless, right? Uh, and I, I think that how you handled yourself there was was like a spoiled child, really. I mean, you kept saying, you know, you know, what's your I, bad I do number? Admit, yes, your, it was. Yeah, it, it was definitely on the cringe. Yeah, yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, but but yeah. the thing is, see, it, you, what you're doing is socially useless. It's just a waste of everybody's time. Uh, and and the thing that was interesting to me, at any rate, was that yesterday. You started to have like a meltdown when Josh started uh, arguing with you. And that there was, was something was about the military stalking him too. Yeah, I mean, it, it seems like Wait, no, you have an issue with like, authority. No, no, let's get, uh, you, you glossed over something there that's interesting. Well, who's getting stalked by the military? <sighs> oh, uh, that uh, uh, the J Bear video. I actually had um, OSI. Oh God, no, no. <laughs> they, they followed me. Uh, they followed me for about a quarter mile. Until I ducked into the woods and they refused to follow. And I was like, oh, that's a little bit disappointing. Why were they following you? Because I was filming the, uh, the military base. So you're filming a military base <laughs> and then they decide to investigate you. You can't tell me that didn't... I mean, that, that can't be shocking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it wasn't shocking. I was actually sort of chuckling at the fact they were following me. They well, followed me well, of course the they're going to follow you, you idiot. Of course they're going to follow you. They want to know what, they're, what you're doing. I mean, which military well, yeah, base was this? Uh, joint Air uh, Joint uh, Air Force, uh, um, Joint Base, uh, Elmendorf, um, J Bear, uh, Fort Richardson. Uh, what was Alaska. it? The military police, or was it that uh, that uh, fucking uh, milk dud looking dude? It, it, uh, you mean the one with the plaid shirt? Yeah. Uh, no, the 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 security so guard. Awesome. Oh no no, that was FAA. If you, if you're referring to the video yesterday, that was FAA. No. Uh, and the uh, J Bear one happened like a year prior, and with that one, I had OSI, which is sort of like the equivalent of the FBI, but within the military. Uh, well, within the Air Force, that uh, two of their guys followed me uh, so after I got done. So you're filming an air base, and they see this guy standing out there, dead silent, filming their fucking airplanes. <laughs> So they have two guys checking out. Hey, make sure this guy's not wearing a turban with a bomb up his ass. <laughs> and they follow you for a quarter mile, and they're like, "Well, he ran into the woods, so I guess we don't have to worry about that." Hey, I, well, they sat, they stood wait. there for a little bit there. They, well, they, I would yeah, too if I got some guy yeah. stalking around hold my on, military on, wait, and then second. dips so out. Wait, 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 wait. So you're testing their security by recording I'm, stuff, and then if they 
they question you or anything, they're they're not doing their jobs by not letting no, you. No, uh, well, I stated this yesterday. If they come out and ask questions, that's not a violation. Uh, that is actually within their right and actually proper security procedure to have someone go out and inquire information from them if they see something suspicious, kind of thing. Where, it, but what I'm testing for specifically is any potential rights violation where they sit there and say, you can't film this, turn your camera away, turn your camera off, you have to delete that. That's when they uh, they step over the line. Did they tell you that? Uh, they, uh, the guy in the plaid shirt for that uh, J-Bear video, yes, he sat there. He's like, get your uh, get your camera off of me. Get your camera off the gate. Quit filming the, the military the base. The J-Bear video, that's the military base one? Yeah, that's the military base one. That's actually the most, uh, that's the biggest uh, video on my channel right now. Okay, so he told you to fuck off. Oh well, he he's uh, cursed at me once. There, he's like, get it, uh, get your uh, fucking camera off, uh, off of me, and that's after he stepped in front of the camera. Stop. Okay, so did, did you stop recording at that point, and then they followed oh, you? Oh hell no! I, I kept the camera rolling. I don't turn that sucker off. I stays rolling until I'm done. So what was the conclusion of the video? I'm just trying to get a, a, a idea of how you got chased in the woods. Uh, uh, I got done. I spent. I got the footage that I needed, and uh, after the MPs walked up and sat there and said uh, three or four times that I had stepped on the property, that I would be arrested on the Air Force uh, military property. And uh, after that, they parted ways. I parted, and then I turned off my main camera and uh, walked off. And then I looked behind me, and sure enough, I had two guys, the OSI guys, following me. I'm just like, oh, this will be fun. I'm gonna take them on a little walk. Now, let's uh, see how far they're going to follow me. Yeah, I'm, I'm just reading the chat, and, and a lot of them are raising the question of what, what is the point of this? I know you said citizen inspector, but you are eventually going to get shot in your fucking head if you keep <laughs> filming military bases. You know that, right? If they shoot me for uh, filming a military base, uh, that's going to that's gonna cause all kinds of hell. Nobody's going to know. You're going to be dead. Nobody's going to have your yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, people are going to know because I, I got um, – there's methods of document – well, having a live documentation or having backup. Either um, with people that uh, – what I do is we'll either have a live stream going or we'll have um, – Didn't you say you were in the military? Like, you know this. Yeah, I'm former military. Oh, right. I've forgotten that. You're right. So, so – I, I mean, you would know how they would feel about that. I don't know. I, it's, it's, I, I know how they feel because I've done similar. I've done those guarding positions. I've guarded gates. I've sat there and pulled security. I've well, wouldn't you realize and... how how incredibly annoying it is for somebody like you, if you were like manning post and you know protecting whatever, and some moron like you is filming and just you know causing a nuisance? Don't you it realize how annoying it, it would be? You know what? To be honest, all the security details, I, I would find it entertaining. I would be sitting there chuckling and uh, joking with the, with the other guard. We'd sit there no. be making jokes about it. We'd take what a note. Obviously, the... what, what was started you on this road? Um, a, uh, another military veteran getting uh, shot in the head with a tear gas canister over in, uh, was it Oakland? Uh, it was over in uh, California uh, several years back. That was sort of like the kicker, and then eventually I sort of... Uh, it just uh, fell into the role of film because I was originally just filming politics. And then I was like, well, you know what? I'm also start filming police because this other guy that was filming um, police and doing some other stuff, uh, he was just talking way too much. I'm like, God, he talks way too much. I need to show him how it's done where you don't talk. And so I just started like, well, I might as well get some practice. And then uh, eventually I started uh, alert. I came up with the silent treatment where I just – don't talk to uh, the security or law enforcement. Let them ask their questions, and I just don't respond to them, and then uh, they'll usually go bugger off or whatever. Quick comment from yeah. somebody who says the former uh, Navy. I don't know if they want mm -hmm. that doc, so I'll just leave the name out of it. They say that if they would have seen you pointing something at them from several hundred yards away, they would have shot your ass. Yeah. And they would definitely be in big trouble then. If you don't amp it up, you're just going to be boring. Well, and, and the thing is, is I don't, I'm not aiming to be entertaining. I'm just going out there and testing and documenting it. I mean, there's people that are involved in this same, same stuff. All they do is go around and submit uh, public records requests 
and get all that stuff. And their footage is just as dry and as boring as most of mine. Okay, okay. the chat is spamming. What is your MOS? What is my MOS? Communications. Okay. By the and, way, what do you do for a living? I mean, how do you pay the bills? I pay the bills. Uh, I'm a disabled vet, so part of that is covered. So, and then I do odd jobs and uh, whatever stuff that comes in from donations and stuff that I from when I do video gaming or some other things. Okay. People uh, in chat are saying that's not an MOS. What? People in your chat are saying that's not an MOS. Hold on, I dipped mm. the chat. Let me check. Let me check. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, let on. me. Chat's losing. Hold on. Mind. Now they're spamming fa uh, fake LARPer stolen valor. Oh, dear. Give me a second. I got my DD214 over here. I'll, right, I can't on, remember hold specifically. On. Wait. Okay. An MO. Somebody get. What the fuck is an MO? Hey, huh? everybody, stop the car yeah. for a second. I don't. I'm not military, man. Yeah, speak, What's speak, an MOS? Speak, 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 what, what is an MOS? Billy, do you know what an MOS is? Look, I only played Call of Duty one time. I don't know what the fucking MOS is a is. job code for uh uh what is it? Uh, it's a job code that you get for your jobs while you're in the military. Where the hell did I put my DD for? Oh, it might be in here. But uh oh, oh here oh, it is. God. Oh, I'll, I'll, God. Give me a second, guys. I, it's what been a long time. Take your time. Take your time. Yeah, this is, uh, we can, this is going I'll nowhere quick. MOS number it should be on here. Oh fuck. Okay, what's, 20, a, what's an MOS? The, like, what does they're, they're that stand for? They're saying your service number is your service number. The job it's, yeah, it's 25 uniform. That's what it was. 25 uniform. Okay. I know some stuff uniform, about the military from my grandfather and other family members, but I don't know all this shit. So why were you disabled? Blew out my joint. Uh, blew out my knee when I was in the Army. Did, uh, while I was halfway through my tour, I, uh, my knee gave out. And I can no longer continue service. Mm -hmm. That's what happens when you're walking three, uh, three to five miles a day with gear on and stuff like that. Mm. And then you go and you go into the military with bad knees already. Uh, let's see. Thomas Mayer Jr. is asking 25U, what level? Uh, 10, 20, 30. Okay. Is there why are why would you mistake? MOS is a number, right? Like, apparent, everybody's it, saying it's a number. Why would you mistake that for communications? Because I work on communications equipment. And my job... No, I mean, why would you mistake yeah. the term MOS for communications? Like, you even repeated the question back before you said it. Yeah. No, as I, no, as I said, it, it literally, I work, in, I work in communications as in I'm dealing with communications equipment. It's radios, computers, uh, computer networking. It is uh, computer networking, and then also I get called in time to time to uh, actually make sure that the cryptos, uh, the encryption, all that stuff is working for the important stuff. Uh, Tennessee Marina saying you lying ass motherfucking punk bitch. Any uh, well, other like? Things let, they, could, like they can go ahead and accuse me if they if they really want some validation. If they, mm -hmm. I could, what I can do later on, failure is I can uh, uh, scan up a uh, censored version. This way, my uh, certain important details are not uh, shown, and I can. So this way, you can see my DD two fourteen. And Chad keeps saying the stream needs yeah. the marine. Do you have somebody in your uh, audience who's a marine that wants there to come on? There are several up? marines. I'm touching. Yeah. I'm gonna touch base with like three or four of them real quick. See, see who all can make it. Because this is a conversation out of my league, so if you got something, I don't know what the fucking MOS is. So yeah, I need I need someone familiar with it. I'm I'm tapping. Let's see. We should get Officer Clinton. Officer Clinton would know. Hold on, hold on. Officer Clinton was on yesterday. Let's see if we can. I let's spread the love. Let's spread the love. See if we can get somebody new in here. Hold on, hold on one second. Sinatra gave me the definition of MOS 25U. Obviously, in a combat situation, the jobs within the USAAC, ASC uh, are especially crucial in order to detect enemy signals and jam enemy radio transmissions 
But in any scenario where large numbers of troops are moving, the signal support system specialists are important to keeping everyone in contact. The job involves to perform signal support functions and technical assistance for computer systems, providing technical assistance for local area networks, and doing maintenance on equipment, terminal devices, power generators, and vehicles. So would you say that describes what you did or, or is... Oh, uh, yeah, that's different? exactly pretty much what we covered. I, I did all that under the sun pretty much. It's uh, We're a jack-of-all-trades within the thing. We're not specialized in anything, but we work on everything. Oof. <laughs> Using very broad brush terms there. And that's that's what's weird is in it... Uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll give it. I'll give it a minute. Let's see. Let's see who we can. I'm talking to a few people. Let's see if anybody makes it, because this is some shit. And like, I ain't bear is ex-military, but I don't I, know I would, I would, him. I, But he's British. The, the, the Brits don't fucking count. And they got a whole different. Deal. Deal. <laughs> You're right. it, yeah, different deal. the the way the laws work over in the UK are different than how they work over here in the US. You're losing your audience, Tonka. They're they're getting bored. You need to bring in something here. <laughs> How many fucking military <laughs> people do I keep on tap? Is need that... to have like a a Rolodex. Full I do. Of I need a yeah. I really do. I need a Rolodex full of uh, correspondence for everything. Hey, well, you you already this got is, uh, you already really got weird. me added in there. So like I, every <laughs> time uh, Billy's shown up here lately, we start off with one thing and we end up somewhere else. Like we'll start off with a wacky wizard oh, and we end up on a pedophile. In here. And they're uh, gone. Uh, ah. They they might have had some problems on their settings. Oh, I was maybe. fighting out with my voice meter earlier. Maybe. The only reason you get retards like this in the U.S. is the over judicialization of uh, petty problems. Because if that arose organically in a real problem in society, it would have a fucking point. But you got all, all of these fucking Jew lawyers trying to, to get rich, so they pick on little issues that citizens and the government have between the, themselves, and then you get retards like you trying to make something out of it. Go do something else, man, or amp it up. <laughs> oh, you want me to amp it up? Well, I could point you to a few people that are already amping it up. I'm getting ready to go to school for law, so... Who is Wind Who Tunnel is approved here? Uh, <laughs> Theo, you there? Hello? Yo. Who is Theo? Hello? Oh, this I is uh, this, this is this is Theo Cuxtable. I run a uh, I run a small academic YouTube channel, and I'm uh, I'm here to make Coach Red Pill's ass look like somebody punched a cherry pie. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, because you uh you canceled you canceled two live streams on me, man. Two weeks in a row. I don't know who you are. This is uh this is a uh, oh sorry this is a uh, listen I'm I'm freaking out because I'm I'm in front of the big dogs. I'm gonna put my friend on. What? What? Uh 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 uh, uh hell, hell, hello is 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 this Coach Red Pill? Who is this? I'm almost afraid to ask. Uh, this is uh, this this is V Monroe, and uh, I, I'm here to I'm here to finally end the mystery and tell you what uh, what Sargon's uh, Sargon's uh, cum tastes like. Uh, okay, please tell <laughs> us. We are all very interested. It's a it's a it's a sweet sweet cinnamon crunch, and uh, I, I, if you would all like to uh, join the liberalist movement, I would uh, I would like to uh, in, invite you right now to say the pledge with me. Uh, I am enlightened by my own intelligence. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, I'm, uh, I'm reading the wrong paragraph. Uh, uh, um. They're stealing material in, from Marduk, man. In, 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 <laughs> in, this, in, this, in this moment, I am euphoric, not because of the blessing of any phony god, but because of Sargon's uh, fat, fat, juicy cock in my mouth. Oof, I think the crickets killed themselves. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> the, cr the crickets off themselves. Even, even the audience is just like, get rid of them. Throw them out. Uh, this is a, this is Toad McKinley, and I had to create a fake account to get on here, and I'm using uh, using some headphones. So. And now that uh, he's unmasked, the crowd cheers. Yeah, I've, I've hijacked this uh, at, at my job, and so I'm guessing that... that uh, Great. Now we have discount you, metacoron. 
You you remember you remember when you deleted your channel? Maybe maybe yeah. it should have stayed that way. Yeah. Oh. This is. Oh. This you is, gonna take that line down, Toad? Uh -huh. No, this is uh, this is discount Jim, and everybody loves me. Uh, happy I could assist. Yeah, it's, it's weird to see you two in the same place at the same time. It's fucking me up. Yeah, actually, act actually, Jim writes all my scripts for me. Uh, I I just I, I read mail them out. Because I mail them out. He, Snail he mail. pays. He pays me in sweet, sweet Jew gold. I've got I've got a whole fucking uh, vault full of it from Nick Denton. Long time ago. Yeah. Sent yeah, me a whole yeah. shit ton of it. He he actually uh, he actually recommended that I uh, that I do these YouTube channels because he's my boss at work at the uh, Kharkov and Camel factory. Kharkov and Camel. Yes. So when did this turn into the fucking Wednesday night at the Yuck Hut? <laughs> Are you coming on to fight <laughs> Coach Redpill? What are we getting at here? Yeah. Uh, no, Coach Coach Redpill really did cancel on me uh, on me twice for a live stream, and I'm really uh, it, well at the time I was trying to promote my channel, but I just hit uh, fourteen. Uh, 1488 subscribers, so I'm not actually uh, accepting anymore. That's the line of subs. Fuck yeah! Andy's back. Andy, oh we've already got a chipper in here. Hold on. So, <laughs> Sorry, there was a small so, form out. Mr. 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 dipped Mr. on you twice. Hold on, Mr. Medica, more like Mr. Mediocre, am I right? Oh, Fuck yeah. Chipper. There you oh, go. Fuck. <laughs> so, Coach, uh, Coach why, why'd you dodge the streams with uh, Toad here? No, I, I wanted to. I mean, it was uh, unforeseen. I, I actually forgot why why they got canceled, but not because of Toda. I, I think that he's great. You know, he's great when he's not taking them them bad drugs. Just say no, Toad. Did, just did say he, no. Did he just leave? I think he dipped out on a stream <laughs> with you now. Oh fuck! All right, why were, weren't we trying to find a marine or something? That's rough. Holy God! Can we get a moment of silence for the fucking Hindenburg there? That crash. <laughs> the humanity. Oh God, that was fucking tragic. Okay, so anyway, back to the stolen valor thing. Did we find military people? Because there's like fifteen hundred people yeah, here. There's, there's, there's a few. Nobody? There's a few knocking on the door. Okay, so no, there's, a, there's a few knocking on the door. All you right. want me to pick one of them? Hold on. Jesus, I walk in and it's just, just rough. What happened? Fucking Billy oh, showed up rough, and well, people well, just had to be crazy. That, uh, yeah, the years after the Cosby show have not been good for Theo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Cringing. Are there anybody besides those two? Yeah, there's a, there's a couple. Good. Beautiful. New blood. <laughs> well, I, mean, I, I gotta give you credit, Tonka. I didn't think anything would top Andy's uh, roast night stream as being fucking awful, but your 10,000k special is really getting up there. <laughs> well, no, it's, it, it's fucking jumping uh, up there. Boots is that. like, no, no, I don't want to bring it today, but by the way, I think, kind of I stolen think people are actually trying to refund their super chats right about now, which is a first <laughs> for me. <laughs> Tonka, you, Tonka, you want me to pick one? Yes, get a fucking military person in here. We've been yeah, on this stolen dollar thing for I, I 20 minutes. I, I'm buying a boredom here. Come on, guys. I, I, c come at me. Why are you being weird? Should... You did the weird thing with the stolen valor a minute ago. What are you doing? I'm not stealing any fucking valor. And as I said, I can prove it. I will have someone validate it for uh, for you guys if need be. But it's... Uh, uh, it's okay. Also, it's I'll more... ask him a question. I, I was okay. listening to in the car and while I was shoveling snow. Um, Why, why do you just film... A government building. It's got so much further than that, Andy. No, okay, I heard that, and then he was asking for the um, for the badge number and all that stuff. Like, why do you do that, mask? It's a it's a test of civil rights to see how uh, law enforcement and security personnel will respond, and if they're going to respect a person's civil rights that might possibly be passing by and filming or take a snapshot or something like that. Does and you have a it's job, just though? do you have a job? I just do odd work. I'm a disabled guy, so. Oh. All right, David, 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 you there? Yeah, I'm here. What's going on, man? Okay, so um, I was in the Marine Corps from 05 to 09. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions that might help uh, quash these stolen valor um, attempts right, for, here. First, first, for, uh, real quick, I'm, I'm, I'm going to just say, and before people start saying that you're stolen valor as well, so we're going to, we're, I'm, I'm just calling now. We're going to have to call in a third person to, to see if you're, you're still that's, oh, that's, fucking hell. that's fine. Um, okay, David? 
Yeah. Um, okay. Um, so first, you, what years were you in? Uh, 2007 to 2011. And were you honorably discharged? Yes. Disabled. Discharge. Medical discharge. Medical discharge. And you said you didn't, and you didn't know your MOS whenever you were at. I, I, d- I didn't remember. Phones. I've been out of the service for almost ten years, and so I had to pull out the paperwork to re- uh, the, uh, remember the uh, specific. What type uh, of radios uh, did you work on? Uh, Harris radios. Harris. Okay, okay. Um, like if you what, want like to... a brick eighteen, what? Oh God, it's been a long time. Uh, I, I don't remember the nomenclatures on the thing, but. Uh... Okay. Um, <sighs> yeah. I presume you knew your job. Yeah. I'm, okay. Uh, so, I'm gonna, all right, so I'm going to ask you a few jobs related into the communication field. How do you say Q phonetically? The letter Q phonetically. The letter. Uh, so Quebec. As I said, it's, <laughs> I've been out for ten years, so uh, there's a lot of shit I've forgotten. Uh, no. From, no. Oof. Oof. November. Yeah. As I said, I, I've. Okay. Quebec. I think, what, it was. Okay. Quebec. I think it was pretty sure it was what, Quebec. What about what about P? Papa. All right. So what about why? Yankee. Okay. All right. So you got a few basic communications questions down. Do you know what, uh, so you don't know what type of radio you used. What type of, where, where did you deploy? Uh, Taji, Iraq. Taji, Iraq. About five, about five kilometers north of Baghdad, if I remember correctly. Okay. And you went on patrols much? Uh, no, I was a poppet. I, As in, I stayed on the base. Yeah, you saw, but you pulled security. Not uh, while deployed, only uh, back home. Back home, what? Like on guard duty? Yeah. Like you would stay up in your uniform, and you would just like what? Were you working with MPs? What were you doing? Aviation unit. We had uh, to take uh, our units had to take turns uh, doing guard shift for How long the, were you uh, the gates. Was it three months? And then, uh, the, if you wanted to know how long the training was, it's about uh, five months. I, I guess I'm just curious why you were disabled and you were discharged and you stayed in the full four years. No, I I was signed up for five years. Oh, you were signed up for five years. Okay, all right, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, I was actually signed up on a five year contract. Well, um, okay. Well, uh, I'm not gonna lie; those are just the, the first couple of questions. You kind of fucked up. You sound like you were really shitty at your job, and you sound like you didn't really do anything. Um, but you sounds like you were in the military. Um, I just seriously doubt your, I mean, especially if you're coming on here saying that, you, you know, your, your general lack of respect towards authority, I have serious doubts that you did anything of note in the military other than some po ass shit where you just like, I don't know, fuck, fucked off on a base, fucking, fucking with a radio that you don't even know the name of for four years. I, you know, as far as I can tell. So well, that, the thing that's is, I, is I, I end up dealing more with computer network communications and stuff like that because I already had the certifications to be able to do that stuff. Okay, and so, so you, you, had... you asked me more about the like the okay. computer side of things. What was I the would thing be, you I... said you did overseas yesterday? Uh, the communications, uh, radios. That's what I did with over, overseas. Oh fuck! When I'm deployed. So you worked on radios, but you don't know what radios. Well, no, radios and computers and stuff. I, I just say radios I'm, because. I... It's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know computers. I I worked with radios quite a bit because you have to know radios if you go out on patrols. But yeah, that, I, 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 I was I was in the military. Yes, yeah, same. I worked, yeah. in, I worked in the Salvation Army. Can I just say one thing? <laughs> I mean, I really hope you guys don't go to war with Russia because you're all sound. <laughs> yes. We would fucking wreck Russia. Wouldn't even be close. I got like a hundred medals. Well, I see, see, man, your line of questioning was weak sauce. I could open up a PDF with the phonetic uh, alphabet. Come on, man. You, well, you gotta, ask, to you gotta ask. You gotta ask basic general questions about their job. I'm not gonna sit here. I, I wasn't a comm guy. I was an 0861, which is a scout Same observer. Here. Same right. hold, on. Same Ye- hold on, for real. I, yesterday he I said. Yesterday he said that he did security details. That, as I said, no, I didn't say overseas. I, I said I pulled security details. Yeah, it, it, what some does people, that mean? Some on people base? may have misconstrued it as I did pull, pull security when I was overseas, but no, I did security back at home, back uh, when uh, at the the place I was uh, stationed at, and I did I watched security cameras and I pulled gate guard. Those are the two aspects that I pulled. 
And so I know how it is to be sitting there and not doing much except for wait, uh, looking at the cars, looking at the badges and stuff like that. Have you guys thought that your tax dollars go to pay for his disability? Just thought I'd throw that out there. Well, here, here's the thing. I, I, I did my service. I got injured on the job. Am I entitled to that uh, that uh, paycheck because I got injured for the work that I uh, did? Am I asking something? Uh, a serious question. Uh, you said that you were like on base and fixing computers and radios. Like, how how are you injured? As I said, I was working about three to five miles a day overseas. No, no. How you how were you injured? But uh, I blew out my knee. Oh, how? Walking, a lot. I my body just wore out a lot faster than a uh, normal person's did. I went in with bad knees in the first place, but they what gave me a referral for that. What type of unit were you in? Aviation. I was on an airfield. And you were okay. I'm not gonna pretend to know. All I know is the air guys that I know that we're not doing is, that kind of shit. Is there anything that we could we we could have him asked to where we could know definitively what's up? Because people are gonna give me shit if I leave there's, this hanging in the I mean, air. There's there's a, pretty much there's everything. Another, there's another person I want so she says she's in the military right now. I don't know. Does she have questions? Does she have some? We need she, yeah, something. She, yeah, I mean the the questions that I was asking was strictly no, related I, to the job. I think like, I you think know. you did well. You gave it basic cursory questions, and you don't want to ask anything long, and be wrong. I can understand. How long have that. you been a? How long have you been a vet ice? Uh, I've been. I was in from oh five to oh nine. Okay. Okay. So pretty recent. Well, he, he got years, out before me. Years. So. All right. Well, still, I would know the type of radios and stuff you were working with. If someone's with. mad at him and wants to question him, get him in here. Yeah, all right. I'll uh, I'll clear some space for you guys. You guys take, take right, it cool. easy. Keep up the good I work, guys. I appreciate you, Ascuzzi. Yeah, take it easy, man. Peace. Uh, I, I'm really enjoying these people. are like, oh, he's lying. He's lying. That's not good enough. Uh, hey, just pretty entertaining. Hello. Hey. I am actually currently in the military, and I'm – kind of think I know what you're supposed to be talking about. So do you have a DD-214? Do you know what that yeah, is? Yeah, I'm sitting here and staring at it right now. Okay, do you know what a retrans site is? Retransmission site? Yeah. I mean, where they go out there, set up the antennas, have two radios that uh, it, uh, pull in the signal and then retransmit it out uh, for whatever direction that needs to go at. Okay. What other radios yeah, were you using? Uh... Besides Harris, there's, the, there's more than one former radio. I'll try to remember. There was the satellite ones, which used the KU band. And if you put your hand on the antenna, you end up microwaving it if you're not careful. Um, as I said, it's I didn't really touch too much on the, uh, the, on the radio side. I did train with that stuff, and I was at least up to par when I was, uh, when I was in the military. But I've forgotten a lot of that information. The most of the stuff that I ended up retaining was the stuff I worked on majority side, which was computer networking, dealing with Zipper and Nippernet. Okay, then this one should be pretty easy. Where did you go for your AIT? Fort Gordon. Okay, guys, I don't think he's... Yeah, I'm pretty I sure he was in the he, military. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah, think I he's mean, stolen I... valor because most, um, anybody that works with uh, communications like I do, they go to Fort Gordon if you have a DD-214. There are different types of radios, and most people, if they're lying, would not know what a retrans site is. So it's like the other guy said that he's probably just shitty at what he did. That was just a really weird slip-up with the uh, MOS, and he says communication instead of giving a number. And, like, he even repeated the question well, I didn't... back. That was weird. Well, well no, I, I, well, I couldn't remember off the top of my head. As I said, I haven't really looked at this stuff uh, Honestly, though, uh, here's one thing that, that like, had me kind of shaky on you is the fact that you didn't know what Q was. Like, I'm a civilian, and I know that just because I've worked security. Yeah, well, as I said, it's been uh, I I don't deal with phonetics uh, anymore. It's been a long, long time since I've been dealing with this, and I'm studying a bunch of other stuff, so I'm naturally going to forget a lot of things. Were you National Guard reservists or active? Full army, active. Uh, it's kind of weird that you forgot what your MOS was. I, I, I know phonetics. That's whiskey tango foxtrot. <laughs> <Yeah>, Zulu. <laughs> 
Yeah, you can give me shit for it. But I, I mean, I, I fully aware. Yeah, I forgot it. But as I said, I forget a lot of things. Guys, he he forgot one thing, like or two things. It's okay. Well, he did answer all the questions that I had, and I went and uh, those are the. Same I mean, if you want, I, I can easily, in. I can easily give you uh, an idea inside of Fort Gordon like there. Out of 90, so it's not a bad percentage. Do you remember how long you were at Fort Gordon? Because that usually will tell you how what MOS you had. It was about, it was about five months there. I was like, I think uh, in the the communicate, well, in the the radio communication side of things for training wise, uh, I think my MOS was uh, the was second it 25 longest. Twenty five U or twenty five Bravo. Twenty five U. Yeah, it's almost. He's clear. <laughs> He go, he go, he checks out for you. Yeah, he does. Cause I, I hate the one of my pet peeves is uh, stolen val valor stuff, and I will call anybody out on it. Imagine, I got seven valors. And someone asked Wait. which fob in the chat. I as I said, Taji was the uh, the fob that I was at for deployment. There is a Taji. It was closer to Baghdad. Me too. I hate I hate stolen valor. I served under Taji slaughter. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. Yeah. Well, hey, uh, good job, chat. You, you said that this was boring as shit to begin with, and now you've derailed us on a 20-minute stolen Valor thing where the guy didn't steal any Valor, so thanks, chat. <laughs> oh, good awesome. job, crowd. <laughs> oh, Jim just roasted the chat. <laughs> a, bi a big audience full of good boys out there, eh, Jim? Uh, yeah, Taka, this is right up there with that roast stream. i got to be honest with you. <laughs> it's... Really? Okay, thank God. I don't feel as bad now for that. Oh, you don't feel as lonely over there on the road? No, you, well, you, the fucking you're, chat you're decided he stole a Valor. Yeah, I, I, I get a chuckle at that. I was like, yeah, go ahead. Come on, bring, keep bringing them on. I mean, if you really want it, I mean, I'm willing to uh, provide some paperwork to show that I, I am military. I think they just hate you. Oh, I, okay. let them hate me. I, I enjoy, there's times when I enjoy being the bad guy. You got to have someone to hate. Come on. Hey Why Andy, how many medals do you have? Why I got fucking four hundred and forty-four. I got fourteen eighty-eight medals. Fuck you. I I, 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 film mili I filmed military bases. That's the main reason why they hate me. Oh, quite a few people. So. Now that's done fucked up, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> in the United States, not overseas, but well, the thing still is, in the United is, States, yeah. you're gonna get your happy little ass shot if you keep doing that. Oh, here's wait. Here's my question: Why did you want to go at Jim so fucking bad yesterday? If when you I, finally I, no, get I today, I didn't say I wanted to go at him. I would yes, love to have a did. conversation with him. I I was wondering if he was going to be able to have anything at me. I, I'm 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 sort of sad because he's usually able to roast anything, but I guess I didn't provide anything enough for him to grab on and go with. I was promised a sovereign citizen, which you are not a sovereign citizen. Yesterday, so I'm, he I'm a little annoyed. Like that Yesterday. I was told I'd have somebody talking about the Articles of, or articles of Confederation, yeah. Yeah, and well, I don't well, have that. Do you want me to get you one? Uh, I might be able to find Billy, you one real quick. Uh, well, I mean, not, not this short notice, uh, but I could find you one. Well, I was on the, I was hearing this in the car, or, or while I was shoveling snow, and then I hear uh, you asking if he was a sovereign citizen, and then Failure and Tonka were like, yeah, but yesterday, this guy said a million times that he wasn't one. Tonka, Failure, oh. comment? Oh, I said he acts like one. Just let him talk. Oh, he acts like one. I... <laughs> hey, hey, Foxy, do do they have uh, Pizza Huts on, on the fort? Mm, some do, some don't. The ones I was at had a, a Burger King and a Popeye's, and that's why I'll never eat at a Burger King ever again. Well, yesterday he was shouting about his rights. Yesterday he was talking about, oh, police don't have a dangerous job at all. Blah, blah, blah. He now, had all I, kinds I would of be stuff. remiss if I didn't bring this up because chat sure as hell is bringing it up. Uh, the military lady, what's your name? Foxy. Foxy, are you a furry? No, I just cannot be doxxed because I'm still in the military. So you're using the furry avatar as undercover? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Undercover okay. furry. I had a she friend draw just, this, yeah. so I use it because my friend drew it for me. Oh, there you go, chat. All right, Tonka, I'm going to drink some fucking bleach. You need to, yeah. you need to pull something out of the bag here, champ. Yeah, I, I, I guess it's got to pull something out. Thank, thank you for coming by, th by there, though. Look, look, the, the chat has disappointed us today. They, they said oh, you're throwing it on the chat? 
Uh, yeah, they said CRP and Toad were going to have an epic battle. What happened with that one? Toad left. And then, uh, oh, what's his face? Uh, ranting Monkey uh, message that said he's in the middle of editing a video, so he won't ranting show up. Ranting Monkey like, ran I'm away. Like, hop in, I'm Toad like, hop in for five in minutes. He's like, down. no, my fans come Andy, first. Andy, let me say something. I want to come on your show and uh, defend the values of uh, Islam treating women like they do. <laughs> what? Fine. Okay. That sounds like a fun fucking. Movie. I did. I'm gonna trash the fuck out Why of you. Why don't you dude. do it now? Give us a give us a speech now. Give us a little preview. All right. All right. Well, before you get into the juicy bets here, I I'm, I'm gonna jump. It's been uh, it's been something. It's existed. <laughs> happy happy ten thousand subs there, Taka. Thanks, Billy. Glad you're oh, glad you you're back. Do more shows like this, or you'll never reach twenty. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. 